Welcome back, everybody. My name's Cameron, and now we're back on the other side. Back to Graveyard Keeper. Back to a time where everyone's dead. Or at least we thought they were. I'm not even sure anymore. It is party time indeed. You're darn right it's party time. It's party time all the time, except when it's not. But it is party time, so I think that's okay. We just got back from a very, very heartfelt? I'd, I'd call it heartfelt. Very, very heartfelt occasion of stream time. It was very, very cool. I, I, I'm feeling really good about that. We got... I got the fan back here. That's where the fan always lives. The fan always lives back there. That's the good vibes, fam. Always, always. And we made a cocktail. Cocktail was good. Oh, the cocktail was really good. Blacklight cocktail. That. Whew. Just the right amount of sweetness, sourness. Oh my goodness, it all fits in there. I think we last left off with Graveyard Keeper attempting to pull out the darkness from inside of our inner souls. That's what I think. Good vibes and good discoveries. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And the best discoveries come fresh. Just like dead bodies. And so, I think I need a couple more dead bodies. I gotta go get some more carrots. I have... <laughs> A surplus of carrots, to say the least. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of carrots. Take myself over to my little barn over there. I have a couple of body parts in here. That's fine. That's normal. It's totally normal. This is totally normal. Oh, I don't have carrot seeds. <clears throat> Poo. Need more carrot seeds. I need... I need more carrot seeds. It needs more cowbell. More cowbell, more carrot seeds. More... Uh, walking. Walking on the beat. That's what this game needs. More walk-in opportunities and more of that stuff. So, so to catch up from last time, apparently, I was under the impression that you needed to use a dark injection to get dark organs. Because think of it this way, right? If you inject somebody with something, it's going to travel on through their veins, usually taking on the color. If you put blue dyed water into a plant, the plant will eventually turn blue because it's sucking up the, 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 the sucking up the ichor. It's all in there. It's getting all up in there. But apparently, if you do, if you inject a bar a body with dark inject fluid, it doesn't create dark body parts. You have to go talk to the Inquisitor for that. And for that, you need to give him a wealthy amount of beer and cheeseburgers, which, to be perfectly honest, didn't make very much sense to me. But whatever. Whatever. Veins do work better when you're not dead. This is true. So supposedly, now that I talked to the Inquisitor about this, I can extract dark brains, dark hearts, and dark intestines. And all I need is a dark brain. I think. That's all I need. And I need that to talk to... I think it was Snake. He needs a dark heart. That's all he needs. He needs a dark heart for his ritual. And then somebody else needed dark other stuff. I think the Inquisitor wants a dark heart, a dark brain, and a dark intestine. Isn't that right, buddy? Buddy, Inquisitor, harvest three dark organs for the course at evidence of the dark cold. If he only needs a brain, <laughs> I'm not gonna make this. <laughs> if he only had a brain, if he only had a brain. Oh, if only I had a brain. <laughs> anyway, let's extract this heart. I hope it's dark. I don't know if it will be. Nope. Dark, dark intestines. Is it gonna work now? I feel like I'm insane. I feel like I'm doing the same, same shit over and over again, and it's not gonna work. I'm gonna put some. I, I need to clear out some of my inventory. I have too many of this stuff. I have this this is a demonstration of all of my attempts to do this before these are all of the attempts that I attempted to get dark body parts oh my god and it didn't work not a single one of them worked oh my goodness I don't know what to do with all these things oh I have so many organs I don't know I think I'm just gonna I guess I can turn them into fluids? I don't really know, to be perfectly honest. I don't... I don't exactly know. I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh, Lorelai... <laughs> Lorelai is talking about a Wizard of Oz reference. I thought we were making a Wizard of Oz reference. The brain, the heart. The brain and the heart. I don't think any of the characters... None of those characters needed a uh, an intestine, did they? None of them needed a stomach? Because I hope they didn't. I mean, if they did... I've come to the right place. This is the right place now. Um, it can be turned into... These things can be turned into dust. So, I'm gonna bring them to the dust area and turn them into dust. 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 What do you become? You become... Life powder. Alright, that makes sense. It comes from something that used to be alive. That makes total sense. The lion, technically, 
wanted some guts. Oh, yo, yo. No, yeah, no, 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 that's, that's valid. I would consider intestines to be guts in this case. That is a perfect analog. You were totally right. In which case, we've got dark organs to satisfy all your missing organ needs. We've got it all over here. I love that. Ladies, gentlemen, and those in between and beyond. Speaking of which, speaking of which, I, Anna and I have been watching this anime called Skate the Infinity. It's an awesome anime. Oh my god, I freaking love this show. But at one point in time, one of our main side characters takes the stage and says something along the lines of, uh, it was like, oh my god, what was it? Oh my god, I can't remember what it was. It was like, ladies, bros, and not, I think he steps the stage and is just like, ladies, hoes, no, Haiti, oh my god, I got messing this up. Ladies, bros, and non-binary hoes, welcome. And I was just like, dude, that is totally a vibe. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I've ever heard a more, like, like, awesome way of saying, like, ladies, gentlemen, and those that don't fit into either of those two categories. And I was like, that was, that was awesome. Although some people find the term hoe insulting. I get that. In which case, maybe this ain't the one for you. But that struck me as like, wow, that is, that's awesome. I love that. I love that. Oh, the heart can be made into fluid. And so I have to wait for that. I have to wait for those. I'll put them over here. It's great. I would totally recommend that particular show. Let's see. We finished watching... We watched another anime recently. We finished watching a show called How Heavy Are the Dumbbells you, That You Lift? And it's all about, like, working out and stuff. It's fan service. It was a good one. I think I talked about this the other day. But now we're watching Skate the Infinity, and it's a great show. It's a wonderful show. I, I totally vibe with it. Oh, uh, let's see. These brains can be turned into fluid. Let's turn it into fluid. Also, why do I have... I'm just gonna... For the sake of... I don't need these... Actually, let me take this crop waste out of my inventory. I don't I don't need this. I'll destroy it. I don't need it. Then I can take this other brain with me. There we go. Oh, there we go. Fun fact. The Corpse Husband is an anime VA now. He's the main antagonist in Tribe 9, a killer ba baseball game set up by the Danganronpa folks. Whoa. Gather brain juice. I must. Oh, hey. I missed you. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. As it turns out, I missed you too. To be perfectly honest, I am a little hungry. And I could use some curry right about now. Although I don't have curry. Instead, we have some leftovers from dinner. It's some fish, veggies, and garlic bread. Eat your greens. Eat your greens and eat your fishes. And of course, there's also more alcohol. There's definitely no... There's no lack of alcohol here. But if you're not into that, that's okay. That's okay. Alright, brains. Give me some brains. More brains. More brains to work with. Must get out of the brain juice. I'm just doing this to clear out inventory, honestly. I'm sure there are other uses for brains out there, like applying them to harsh problems that will eventually help the world one day, like involving things like theoretical physics, uh, the uh, mathematics, and, and medicine. But nope. I'm gonna turn it into juice. I'm gonna squeeze the shit out of your knowledge. <laughs> Thought you knew calculus? Now you got calculus juice, I guess. Yeah, probably. I I'll go with that. Let's put all the thing in that. Oh, I have no space. I have space for this. But I don't have space for this. What can I do with you? What don't I need a lot of? Uh, I'll put the graphite powder somewhere else. I think I think I have other stuff up here. So I'm going to put it over here. Right? Is that cool? That cool? That cool with y'all? That's cool with me. Cool. I'll put some of the faith away, clear up my inventory. I know a new fresh body just came. So, you know what that means! Time to rip out somebody's internal organs. Don't worry, they're dead. They don't mind. At least I don't think they do. God, I really hope they don't mind. Because if they do, I had no idea. And I never will have any... Oh! Oh, apparently it's not a chance of whether when you harvest it, it'll be dark. It's just a matter of you get a body that has the darkness and you can rip the darkness out of them. I did not realize that. This is new information of me. Thank you, dark intestines. Thank you, body. Thank you, 
Jimmy Jam, Jimmy Jam, Jim Jam Jam. Your lighting is so cool. I've never seen anything like it. Really? Really? This is... I think too bad. I'm actually... This is my plan, actually. I really want to add, like, more colors in the back. Because currently the backdrop is a little... It's that I don't think it's distinct enough from here. And actually, this is a... This is a little... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If this is cool, watch this. Now the whole setup can be seen. And actually, it's actually interesting. You can get an idea of, like, where the lights are. Because... Not everywhere in my peripheral is lit up. If I put my hand too far forward, it darkens up because the light only exists over here. And this is for a couple of reasons. One, because I have a white background, so it's going to reflect everything off. And in addition to that, my fiance is a bit of a light sleeper. She's very sensitive to lights and whatnot. So I attempt to keep the light in as contained an area as possible because it's a little late over here. It's like 9.30. Sometimes we go a little bit later and I want to make sure that I don't wake her up because of my lighting and whatnot because that would just feel bad. Plus, plus, with this particular angle, I can do stuff like this. And everyone can still see me. And that's that's been that's been a while in the making. I, I like I like things like that. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we're always we're always improving. We're always improving on things because like usually it's all RGB and I'm not saying that's bad, but it's unique and cozy to see natural light. Yeah, I don't like it's cool. I feel like this is my personal opinion on it. I think that RGB lighting, red, green, any color that you want, I feel like there's a time and place for that. Yo, it's time to work that body. Let's do scary feet. To do scary feet, you take your feet and you pounce them on the ground and try not to annoy your neighbors, which I'm at. My feet are actually not touching the ground, but you can see me gyrating. I am doing scary feet. I promise you that. But yes, good setup indeed. But indeed, like I feel like the, the lights... Like, the, I, I feel like if you have RGB lights, then I feel like it could be a little bit distracting. I can totally see a need. Like, a time and a place where, like, doing RGB lighting is, like, totally a cool thing. Like, it's totally, it's totally on point. But I feel like it's got to be a theme. Wow, that's a lot of blue points. That was incredible. You can hear the gyration in your voice. Can you really, can you really hear me gyrating to the beat of my legs? Because if that's the case, that's pretty awesome. I, I'd say I did my exercise. Thank you, dearest, for the reminder. I always got to remember to move around here. If you ain't moving, well, then I guess you ain't moving. I was going to say, if you ain't moving, then you ain't living. But, like, I mean, some people live without moving. And sometimes that's just their life, and that's okay. Um, But, yeah, like, for example, like, I can I can make these lights whatever I want. But, like, for the purposes of, like a, like, a normal normal stream, nothing's really going on. I don't see a need for the colors to be anything but like what we have currently and it can be whatever you want it can be whatever you want it to be. It be whatever color you want except for this one this light over here doesn't change color i haven't figured that out just yet but it's a it's a thing <laughs> it's honestly pretty cool i love it i love it i think there's there was one time i think there was one stream where i was do i was basically doing nothing but playing with my lighting because i was i was so into it because i had just gotten like this smart l this smart led light of mine and it's controlled via it's controlled over Wi-Fi. That's pretty cool. It sounds incredibly insecure. And being a tech guy myself, I was a little like, I was like, eh, I don't know if I really want to use that. But so far, it hasn't been a problem. I'm not gonna over-index on it. I think I think it's fine. Nobody's hacked into my mainframe just yet because of my light bulb. Although I guess it's probably possible. And for that reason, I will. I was gonna say I won't be sharing what type of light it is. Actually, I can't share what type of light it is because I don't know what it is and i can't remove it because the ceramic base of it is very hot right now and if i put my hand up there it would hurt so if anybody's actually very curious about that feel free to send me a dm and i'll let you know and i will let you know what type of light what type of light i use over here oh wait 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 wait, wait. i remember what kind of light it is it's an lifx light i realized that because that's literally the name of the app on my phone that i use to control it there we go lifex lifex Get your life fixation. Yeah. Gotta love that. Okay, so apparently, all I need to do is wait for the right bodies to roll in. If I wait for the wait, wait, I wait for the right bodies to roll on into my shop, I will get exactly what I need. And that's pretty cool. Other than that, I can just collect more materials. And that, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that, that's great. It's all about, my goal is to try to get all of this dark all the dark organs and i don't think that's i don't think that's too much of a i don't think that's too big of a goal honestly it was too big of a goal last time because apparently i hadn't yet gotten to the point where i could get all that dark stuff but now like i've you know i'm used to the darkness i'm just i'm used to it now 
I am one with the darkness. The darkness doesn't even phase me anymore. It's just like, oh, you got a dark heart inside of you? Let me take that out for you. Do a little, little buddy a favor. No problem there. Need a little bit of an exorcism? Haven't figured out how to do that yet in this game, but I'm sure it's possible. And if it's not... Developers... I know you're updating the game. I think we have a potential here. But it's okay. You didn't hear it from me. You heard it from somebody else who's a lot, who's got a lot more saying power than I do. Although some, honestly, some developers like really, really care about the small things and whatnot. That's why like for a while, I was not inclined to like post reviews of games and stuff like that because my mentality was just like, um, nobody that I know really cares about the games that they already own. But there's a ton of people out there who literally have no idea what this stuff is all about. And they wouldn't, they, they wouldn't necessarily know unless somebody out there, such as myself or such like you, to put up a review and be like, hey, this is my perspective on it. Because I feel like I found a lot of cases where like I'll read reviews and I'm just like, yeah, but you're a little too cynical about it. You don't seem like you're being very objective. Or like, oh, what's your personal opinion here? I want to know if I would like it because I feel like I'm my own individual. And, you know, without without unique posts from unique people, I guess you're really never going to know. But I think the world deserves to know. Let's put the... Me uh, yeah, I'm going to put this in the basement. I put all this stuff in the basement. All the fat and whatnot. I can make oil from this. I can make... Skin from this. Let me, uh, la, 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 la. put this, uh, put the, uh, can't put any fat over there. Ah, uh, why do I have all these grapes? There doesn't need to be this many grapes over here. Let's, let's take care of that. Let's take care of the grapes. I have an excess of grapes. Let's make a few piles of grapefruit. Grape, grapefruit, grape, grape, juice. I'm gonna squish some grapes. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do with my grapes today. Somebody's gonna come in my apartment and be like, hey, you got some grapes? I'm gonna be like, yeah, I got some grapes. I'm gonna squeeze those grapes for you all fresh right here. I'm gonna use my feet I'm gonna use my scary feet to make you all these kinds of grape juices and stuff like that. We got plenty of different types of grape juice. You want gold star grape juice? You want silver star grapefruit grape juice? I got that too. I even got a grapefruit in the fridge. You can have grapefruit juice if you really want it. But you know, whatever your preference is, man, I don't really care. Whatever you want it to be. Do I have space in my inventory for that? I do, but I'm running out of energy. Um. How about some more mead? Apparently, <laughs> alcohol in this game doesn't get you drunk. Apparently. So you can drink all you wanna, and there's no problem with that. And that is okay. I am totally okay with getting a little, I guess, I guess apparently not very drunk at all. And then you can take that grape juice, and you can make ween. Now, I could spend both of my piles... But there's an 80% chance that I'll get a nice set of blinds, so which is these ones, so I'm cool with it. And I'll put the rest of the uh, the, 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 the the rest of the thingies in here. Right? Right? Yeah. And I could also make oh, can I make any beer right now? Um I don't have enough weed on me. I need more weed on me. I don't have it. That's okay. I'll wait till another time. Don't know why there's a chisel in here. Why why are there berries in here? Can I make berry juice yet? How many berries do I need? Berries? 25. I'm just gonna eat those berries. I don't need them down. I don't need berry juice. Berry juice is not something that I really require. Also, I don't know why I have all my diamonds down here, but hey, whatever. I can understand the blood and the flesh. I understand those. I can take the brains with me. I can take, take the heart with me and the intestine as well. Yeah, I can take those with me. That's fine. <laughs> Excuse me. I apologize if I snort every once in a while. Snort, breathe in. I, I got a little bit of an acid reflux problem. It happens when I drink uh, acidic things. And as it turns out, there's quite a bit of lemon juice in here, so it's going to wind up happening. I apologize. I really, I really can't help it. I choose not to spit it out on camera because that's disgusting. It's all disgusting, but I think that's a little more disgusting. I always, I always thought, I feel like I watched television shows when I was younger with like the, like the hillbilly characters and whatnot would like, like take their and spit it out. And I was like, that's disgusting. Do people actually do that? Yes, they do. And at a point in my life, about two or three years ago, I found out why. Because apparently, not all of us are born lucky enough to not have to, to not have literally a bunch of mucus always existing in your throat, wanting to get out because of because of stimulation from a certain type of chemical reagent. Is it unfortunate? Yeah, but like it's the life that we live, and I don't have enough money to surgically get that fixed. So I'm gonna live with it for a little while. And that's okay. Maybe one day I'll get it out. But I don't have that. I don't have that kind of money saved up yet. Instead, we're attempting to save up money for a proper buffer, a better apartment, and I believe I believe Anna wants to do a um, a study trip somewhere abroad. 
and I don't remember what the price was that she told me, but I was like, yeah, we should, you should totally, you should totally go do that. Like, there should be nothing stopping you from being able to go out and, like, like, get your education in the coolest way possible. And so, we will save up money for that, and she will be, she'll be, she will be able to go. I think that'll be pretty cool. We've discussed this already. She's already aware of this. This isn't, like, any surprise or anything like that. But we're also saving up for, like, what? Or saving up for, like, a honeymoon? Saving up for a wedding? And I guess kids one day, too, and their college friends. Wow, there's a lot of there's a lot of things to save up money for. Yeah, we, we'll get there one day. One day. I'm not in any rush. I'm not in any rush for things like that. We can take our time. That's where we're getting married in a couple years. Not this year. Let's take this body outside. Have I? You're just a regular body. What can I remove from you? You got any dark stuff? Uh, I got some meat. Oh, you got some meat on your bones? Got some meat on your bones? I'll take some meat off your bones. That's good. I can take some meat off your bones. Take some meat off your bones. Yeah, all right. And some blood off your bones. Though I don't think your well, your bones make the blood. So I guess in that way, kind of works. But that's fine. I think that's okay. Okie dokie. Let's see. We need the skin. Take those. Take those boys outside. Take the boys outside to play. Boys and the girls and those who fall in between and beyond. I don't know what the gender of these guys are. I, I honestly don't know. I don't need Ash. Ash Ketchum has no place here, and neither does the salt of the earth. I feel like there's enough salt in this world right now. We don't need it. That's fine. That's fine. You can take your salt and put it elsewhere. Put it in a field. Use your salt to till the land. Fertilize it and whatnot. Use your salt for that. But don't bring your salt here. You don't need no salt here. I mean, unless... Like, I mean, I got nothing against Venton and whatnot. I've, like, I've considered, I've seen, like, very, very exhaustive, like, chat rules and stuff like that, and I don't really have a need to, like, append those rules until, like, you know, I feel like there's a need to. Honestly, I think of it this way. If you got something that you're battling in your life, then it's okay, it's okay if you want to share it here. I mean, if you're gonna, like, weaponize it and bring down other people, I think we need a system for that. However, if, you, you know, you, you, this is a safe space over here. This is a safe space here. With the caveat that anything you type in chat will live on ad infinitum because VODs get posted on YouTube, so it will live forever. So with that in mind, if you'd like to share your personal business, that's fine. Just keep in mind, we are recording. So with that out of the way, fire away. <laughs> is salt in the earth a good thing or a bad thing? I don't exactly know. Venting is one thing, attacks are another. This is very, very true, but not. I was actually just thinking about that the other day. I was like, do, like, do I want to, you know... Do, do, do we restrict things like that? Like, I, I, honestly, I don't know yet. I don't know. So far, I've yet to hear a story where I was like, yep, that doesn't, that doesn't belong. This is no place here. I don't know. I don't know how, I, I don't know how bad it gets. And that's, that's not me attempting to be like trying to jinx it and whatnot. I don't know. Use your common sense or something like that. Insert, insert other very vague common advice, advice here. I don't really know. Excuse me one moment. I still have some more of my drink over here, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pour out some of the rest of it. Uh, I think um, my cup is a little. The cup itself is actually a little small, um, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit more in there. I don't want this one to go. This is this is really 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 good. I don't wanna I don't want this one to go to waste. It's like really really good. Wow. I like I I don't like tooting my own horn, but this recipe isn't mine. So I am more than happily gonna be like, this is freaking awesome, and I love it. And you also try it if you do that. That's great. <laughs> Your cup runneth over with choices. So many choices, and by choices we mean there's only one. I'm just kidding. There's always two. You should always have water on set, especially when you're drinking. Consumption is a good thing. <laughs> Consume, consume, my friends. Don't forget your consumption for the day. I need wood bullets. Let's get some wood bullets. Billet, 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 billet. Billet. Billet, don't you lose my number. Cause you're not anywhere that I can't find you. Oh, now billets. All those little wood billets. I found you. Now I'm gonna set you on fire. Burn some bodies. Yeah, that's good. A place, uh, make a couple of places for burning corpses. That's the power of billets. Billet, billet, billets. Billet, 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 billet. Oh, I gotta build them first. Sorry about that. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Not yet. Not yet. Hold your tongue. Hold your tongue. Hold your buddy. Young. Young. Better one. 
You're not quite ready yet. You're not quite ready. Okie dokie. Oh! It seems that I run out of energy and I'm getting a little bit tired. Alrighty then, but while that's burning, I'm gonna go grab another one. Oh, I can't crawl <laughs> I can't crawl in through there. Hi there, you're the other one I'm grabbing. I'm gonna bring you out here. I'm gonna set you on fire. You don't mind, do you? I didn't think so. Fire! I've set things on fire before. There's been fires in this apartment. Controlled ones. No uncontrolled ones yet. However, we did have a close call the other day. So. <laughs> Crossing my fingers. Thank God we're still here. <laughs> this is a very good thing. But uh, we found out that uh, through that incident, we found out that apparently our fire alarm does not have a battery in it. I have no idea where it went. I don't know. Anna and I have literally no idea where it went. So we're going to get another one. Please. I caution y'all. Uh, here's your call to action. If you don't know whether your fire alarms have a battery in them right now or not, please check them. <laughs> you never know. And that's your TED Talk for the day. Yeah, just be careful out there. Let's put a couple of these things over here. But everything is okay. Everything is okay. And honestly, knock on wood, I'd like to keep it that way. You got some more wine over here? Oh, yeah! Get some more wine. More wine. And I can sell that on Merchant Day, which is tomorrow. Put some fat in here, put some meat in here, put some skin in here. Give us some skin! Alright! Anyway, I don't need this dowel. I don't need that dowel there. Wooden stick, excuse me. It's a wooden stick. I need more bodies. Ooh! Speak of the devil and he shall appear! Give me something that I can put in my beer! I don't know if I want to fill up my beard with darkness. However, I could be convinced. Alright, come here, you. Are you dark? Aww. You're not very dark at all. Well, in that case, I'll just take from you what I want. That's fine. If you don't, you don't want that, that's okay. That is a-okay. I got no problem with that. Oh, hey-o. Um, more mead, please. No, no, no. Please hold the alcohol. <laughs> yes, I know. I don't need to get drunk today. I'm working on dead bodies. <laughs> Although, to be honest, if I make a surgical mistake, <laughs> they can't sue me because I don't have insurance. <laughs> uh, ain't no malpractice when you're working on a dead body when nobody knows the dead person's name or their family and next of kin. Right? Who's gonna sue you if there's nobody left? Yeah, I don't know. Nobody. That's the answer. Nobody. If there's nobody left, nobody can sue you. This is the answer. And now you know. Consider yourself educated. You're welcome. Oh, why do I have this crap in my inventory? I'm gonna bring this up here. I don't... I don't need it. Let's take... Let's... T nope, can't walk through the anvil. You know this, Cameron. You can't walk through the anvil. No matter how much you want to, you cannot. Can I craft anything? I have some ingots that I can make. Some scrap metal I can't go down. I can make some steel, but I don't need to. All that stuff's been made. And eh, there's nothing really need... There's nothing that needs refining right now. Porcelain pitcher? Oh, what is this? Oh! That's what white powder is used for. White powder is used for porcelain, but doesn't white powder come from bones? I don't think porcelain is made from bones, is it? Huh. Alrighty then. I'm done with that then. Uh, what was I doing? I lost my train of thought. Oh, I got the carrots. I'm gonna put the carrots back over here. And then... I'm gonna refill the carrot plot. That's just how it'll be today. Yeah, we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to make some more progress. I am getting slowly but slowly but surely closer and closer to the goal at hand. And that's okay. Can I deposit this? I can't deposit this. Okay, that's fine. Uh, plant those seeds. Thank you. Thank you. I'll grab some more. You know, while I'm waiting for a body or two, I'll uh, grab some wheat, put that downstairs, and uh, make some more beer. 
Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I need space for the wheat. That would be cool. Let's get rid of this ash. Don't need that. Get rid of this salt. Don't need that. Take that. Okay. Grab some more pumpkins to make more money. I need those pumpkin seeds in my inventory. I know. Can I? I'm eating all these. I'm eating all the berries. Now I have space for pumpkin seeds. Now everything is okay. Nope, stop. Yes. No. Nope, yeah. Oh, that, that's fine. That's that's acceptable. That is acceptable behavior. Nope, neither. Mm. Let's just get everything out of here and then throw shit in chests. That's fine. Uh, onion? Onions? Onions? That's onions are fine. Crop waste? Gotta love that. Parcelain is a super refined clay, so it has a very, very little pores, hence being so easy to clean, but powdered bone porcelain is a thing. Just normally it's cow bones. Interesting! God, I love learning new things. That's another thing that I didn't happen to mention explicitly from when we were having our little moment before. One of the coolest things is to be able to learn things. Just because, like, you know, some people come in with their own knowledge. That's awesome. Some people also come in with the ability to Google more quickly than I can, which is totally valid. And I like that. It's so easy to learn new things when you have people that are willing to share. And for that, I thank you. Put the pumpkin seed in there. I can come back for more seeds, more wheat seeds. Put the wheat seeds in there. That's fine. Can I plant more wheat? There's wheat seeds. Got that. Uh, I just picked up more seeds, I think. Uh, more onion seeds. That's fine. Take the onion. Oh, uh, I need more seeds. Uh, put the seeds in there. I need more seeds. Let me, let me just, I, I have a lot of skin right now. I can, I can put that at other place. Uh, wheat seeds. This is a gold, that, that's silver. This is gold. This is, excuse me. Carrot seeds. These are gold. That, that's a, oh, I should do this one. There we go. There we go. Uh, onion seeds. Onion. Uh, not onion. Onion? Onion. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, cool. I got all that stuff. I don't think there's been another body yet. Not important. That's okay. Oh, it's, uh, mm, it's claw day. I need to see about uh collecting a few see if i could pack up some more goods i don't have enough pumpkins for sure um onions i don't have enough uh silver star onions either so i think that'll be that, that that's okay for the day sharing info is fun i agree with that if i had more info to share i, I got a lot of like i tend not to give information unless the topic comes up i got a lot of tech information up here a lot of mathematical academic knowledge but that doesn't really come out on stream very often I don't know. I find it... There's not a lot of opportunity to talk about, like, advanced queuing theory or machine learning. But it comes up every once in a while. You never know. We improv with things. We roll with it. If it becomes necessary, then we talk about it. Unless it's hot on my mind. If I, like, need to share it, it, it will be brought up. It will be brought up on the show. And some things like that have been brought up before. One of the things that I'm really proud of recently... Actually, one of the things that I'm really, really proud of recently is I've gotten into uh, reverse engineering a little bit where I'm able to, actually I talked about this before, I guess, but I can take like mobile applications and figure out how they work. And one of the things that you can do is you can try to like kind of, I don't like the word hijack cause it's a bit of a negative term, but you can like kind of, you can like take the role of the app in place of what it does and you can create your own application. And one of the things that I was able to do and finally had my breakthrough the other day was I figured out Usually when you do any sort of like advanced encrypting and whatnot, you have a key that you can use to take gibberish and turn it into something powerful and something legible. And I was able to find in a particular application what that key was using a couple of reverse engineering tools that I've become familiar with. If anybody's interested in stuff out like that, the program that I've been using is one called G-Hydra, G-H-I-D-R-A. And it's meant for reverse engineering, um, usually compiled C libraries, the language C or C++ and stuff like that. .so files can be figured out if you have this type of program go figure it was a program developed actually by the nsa and then i think uh released publicly and they have an open source version out there which is pretty freaking awesome if you ask me in any case that's a thing and it was pretty cool it was pretty cool it took me a really really long time to get that far into it i've been trying to i've been cracking at this project for a couple weeks i've been cracking at the same project for like three weeks now and i finally made a breakthrough and mostly if it's because you know i'm not I'm not exactly a professional in any of this stuff, so it takes me a little bit of time to catch up to the professionals. But hey, that's learning, dude! And I'm learning! And it's a lot of fun. I love stuff like that. 
I would love to be able to like do that on stream sometimes, but eh, I just I'm not confident yet enough in my own ability to be able to like lead a show like that. So I'm not gonna do it just yet. But one day, one day I think it'd be really really cool. So I need some more hops. Uh, I have some gold star hops. I'll make some beer, but I'm not quite ready for anything else yet. Let's. Uh, it is claw day, so let me take myself over to the man who's interested in buying my goods. The merchant. Hello there, buddy. Walking past you, little zombie boy. Zombie boy, zombie person. Come up here and see what we got. All right. Oh, I got some monies. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't collect any money. Or did I? I don't know. Hey, you. Um, Let's talk business, my friend. No, just kidding. Let's talk trades. I want to sell you all this stuff. And I know, I know that I should be selling this staggeredly. Like, not... Not all at the same time, because I really don't get that much money for it. But I'm selling it all to you now, because I'm just going to finish. There you go. Take all that. I need, I think, 10 gold coins to become an aristocrat, and I am at two. Needless to say, I am saving my money for a rainy day. I can also sell those burial certificates. Every single time I burn a body, I get a burial certificate. So I'm going to sell them all. Oh, look at that. We got another one. Let's take myself home. Take myself home. Back to sweet home. See if we got a nasty one in there. I hope so. Crossing my fingers that a murderer died. Crossing my fingers. Honestly, if you are a murderer out there, die. And then I will harvest your dark organs. Maybe not today, though. I mean, I feel like the time it takes for you to die and eventually make your way over to me is going to be a while. I might not be playing the game then. So I think you might as well just live your life today. However, I'd say hold on the killing part. But I'm not your parent, and I'm not a lawmaker or a policy enforcer, so just keep doing what you're doing. But hopefully within reason. This guy doesn't got no dark things either. Sad. I wonder... I guess there is I guess there's a chance for the organs to be dark, but I don't necessarily know. That's unfortunate. I really mm. Well, if it worked once, it worked again. So I am not gonna like I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, maybe I should harvest the hearts anyway. Just just to see if I can get the darkness from them. I don't I don't think I can. I don't think I should think like that. So I'll just I'll keep doing what I'm doing normally. And I'll just come back whenever we got more bodies. I'll just keep it filled up with carrots, and I think we'll be good. Oh no, I've run out of energy. Need more honey. Need more honey so I can make more mead. Take you. Take your body. Take the body over here. Take the body over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, bring you down here. Oh, goodness. There's no space. No, I don't want the salt. Don't want it. Don't want it. I don't want your salt. Get out of here. I need more billets. Gotta get more billets. If you don't got enough billets, you can't do nothing. Uh, can you chop down this tree? It'd be really cool if you chopped down this tree. Chop down the tree? I don't want the mushrooms. Alright, fine. Ugh. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. No, please. Cut that. No, I want the... Cut down the tree. Mm. No, I don't want the flower! There we go. Cut down this tree. Thank you. And now dig up the ground. That's a big one. Alright, cool. I'll take you. I will push y'all upward. There we go. I like that. There we go. And I'll put it down here. I'll make a couple more. I'll, I'll make a few more wood billets. Billets, 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 billets. One of the things that I need to look into, too. I, I actually, I don't know if I... Have I researched the marble yet? Oh, you know, I have a ton of blue points. I can probably spend it on technology. I have like 156. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, what can I research now that I haven't already researched? Scent of gold... You can find precious metals and ores more often. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, what else, though? The art of stone. I can make polished bricks of marbles, carved pieces of marble. That doesn't lot, require a lot of blue pieces, so I'll go with that. I like that. And what is best friend? You have a nose for gems, so you'll find more often. Also, you know how to make really nice jewelry. Sweet. Um, what else we got? I haven't had found a need for uh, fine woodworking yet. Any smithy stuff? I could use... Oh, I could use engineer. I think I remember. Something I was doing requires engineer, so I'm going to go with that. And I can make a water pump. I don't know where to build the water pump. I assume over here? No. Why wouldn't the water pump be over here near the water well? I don't know. Welcome back, dearest. Maybe, where can I build this water pump? Oh my goodness. There's going to be like some random 
place that has a blueprint. And that's where I'm going to be able to build the water pump, and I won't even know it. Maybe it's down here in the crematorium. No. I spent a while on that one, too. I remember that. I'm trying to figure out where the hell to burn corpses. Oh. Crazy. Maybe I can build a water pump over here. Mm, no. I can build a stone fence. Oh, look at this. Stone fence. Carved piece of stone. Polished brick of stone. Oh, I remember how to make those. I don't want to do that now. That's not really my goal right now. We're going to build a water pump. You want to tell me? Water pump. Blueprint. Okay, cool. Not not useful in the least bit. Um, hmm. Huh. Where can find the water pump? I don't know. I, I'm gonna make my wood billets. Actually, I'm gonna go to sleep. I should sleep. That's a thing that I should do. I should definitely sleep. Oh, maybe I could build it over here. Oh, maybe it's within this area. I build a water pump here. Oh, yeah, water pump. Oh, I just need another flitch. Oh, I got flitches. Let's make a flitch. Flitch. Flitchy, flitchy, flitchy. Yeah, we'll build a water pump. I don't know what that does for me. I don't want to build it anyway, because I can. Water pump. Hey, what does that do for me? What? What? What does this do for me? What? I don't... Oh, take, take. Oh, I can just pour water one at a time. I see. Still don't see a use for that right now. Why would I need one water at a time? Not sure yet. I don't know. I should rest up. I'll sleep on it. Let me sleep on it, baby. Let me sleep in it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ooh, also, I decided to bring the blackberries with me. So I got a little snack. I'm so refreshed. I know. I know, I know, I know. It's the same each and every night. I go to sleep, I wake up, I feel fine. Actually, to be honest, I have been very tired recently. I've been a very tired boy. I don't know. Sometimes I wake up and I have like that energy already. Not, not, not this week. I don't know why. I don't think I'm very stressed out. One of my coworkers was like, hey, you feeling, you feeling okay? You stressed out? I was like, ah, I feel good. I feel pretty good for the most part. Although, you know, I'm sure there's something... I'm sure there's some subconscious act action going on up there that I'm just not aware of totally. That's okay. It's okay to not be okay sometimes. I don't know. So to take out that, I'm gonna burn some corpses. The only... The best way to cope with the world is to set things on fire in a video game so as to not hurt anybody. Except for yourself. At maximum. I would think. I don't know. Although, you know, mm, I guess it depends on the video game. Because if you're playing multiplayer, then you may be bringing some people down with you. In which case, mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't do too much. I don't do too much multiplayer, to be honest. And that's a that's a personal thing that I'm trying to get past. Just not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little. I don't know. I feel like it's it. It feels there's an inclination inclination in me to want to do things solo because. I guess I, I, I'm just a little, I, I'm, I think the term is ambivert, where you're like, you're kind of an introvert and you're kind of an extrovert. And sometimes those personas, like, it's not like they're taking control or anything like that, but sometimes one speaks louder than the other, I suppose. Not that I hear them speaking, but I feel like sometimes I want to be more introverted and sometimes I want to be more extroverted. And when it comes to video games, I think I'd rather be a little more introverted, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know why that is. But I've played games with others before and I plan to continue to do so because... It's fun. And I like the company. Let me go get some more wood bullets down here. Another body just came in. I know. But it probably isn't what I want anyway. Like, like, likely speaking. Uh, I want just five, please. That'll be fine. Probabilistically speaking, there's absolutely no guarantee that the body that just rolled into the shop is going to have the darkness that I require from it. And if that's the case, then, well, I don't need to rush at all. I'll take these billets down with me so I have them. Hey, yo, welcome to the party, pleb stash. How are you doing? I think I'm in your Discord server. I love that server. It's a very wholesome place, and for that, I appreciate it. I actually left most of my party hats on the other side. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it. I got the right party hat for the occasion. We actually just celebrated one of Anna's family members' first birthdays the other day, and I have a first birthday party hat with your name on it. Although it technically doesn't have your name on it. It's a very big... Oh my god, it's such a big party hat. It doesn't technically have your name on it. I could write somebody's name on it. 
Welcome, my friend. Welcome and party on. Party on. Party on my wayward son. Nah, that doesn't feel right. I mean, even the wayward sons can party sometimes. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You want to party? You want to party the way you want to? Maybe you're a little wayward at heart? That's fine. I, for one, would consider myself quirky. And I will party on. And if you were my father or parental figure, you could call me your quirky son. So party on, my quirky son. There will be peace when you are done. Maybe. Crossing my fingers on that. Destroy! Yes, destroy. Ash, be gone. Destroy, destroy. Curry just realized you're in a Discord server with you. Feel so honored. Really? Oh, cool. I love that. I also got a Discord server as well. You could be in two servers with me if you want to be. Although, although, I understand. There could only, you know, sometimes. 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 I'm so dumb, you had no idea. No, 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 no. You're not the dumb one. I'm the dumb one for not knowing how to advertise properly. But we're working on that. I don't have a marketing team right now. It is me, myself, I, and the lady. Although I don't know how much marketing she does. What'd you say, dear? Her name is Anna. She's the lady. She's an awesome lady. There's no darkness in this heart. So sad. I need the darkness from your heart, Sora. Bring the darkness from your heart. Kingdom hearts. Oh, I can eat mushrooms. I forgot about that. I should eat the mushrooms before I eat my perfectly quality good mead. Hmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ooh. And you know, come to think of it, Hypothetically speaking, hypothetically speaking, this is totally hypothetical. If you're dumb for not realizing you're in the same Discord server as moi, then I am also dumb for not realizing the same exact thing, but from the opposite perspective. So, if we have to feel dumb, I am also equally dumb. And that is okay. <laughs> I was watching, come to think of it, I've been watching, um... I've been watching Markiplier play through. I think he played did play this a little while ago. He's been playing a game called Honey Pop 2. And I won't go into the details of what that game is, but if you're familiar with it, you know exactly what's going on here. And one of the characters in that game is, as the game refers to, intellectually challenged. And honestly, those are some of the funnest conversations that I've seen occur in that game so far that he's been playing. I think it's awesome. I don't care. I don't care if you're dumb. I don't care if you're smart. But if I'm having a good time talking to you, then I have absolutely no problem with going on although if you you know if you're a little if you're boring and you drone on and whatnot much like money my lecturers did in college then eh, i i i i wouldn't have a problem going to another room or talking to somebody else but for the most part i haven't found many uh for the most part i haven't found many quote unquote boring individuals so <laughs> no shame in sharing the brain cell oh my god i love that <laughs> There is no shame when you have to share a brain cell or two. That's okay. Hey, we can all have we can all have one collective brain cell that we pass back and forth to each other. And I have no problem with that. It's kind of like um when you're at a conference or whatever, you're at the dinner table and everybody has like the the speaking um the speaking thing. Yo, I just realized my other party had fell off. Sorry about that. It's hanging. I promise it's still there. Hot potato brain circle. <laughs> I love that. But like, think of it this way: if we have one, if whoever gets to talk is the one who has the brain cell, and so we can share that brain cell. We can split it into a couple people pieces too. I think that's fine. That's totally okay. <laughs> so long as nobody hogs the brain cell, don't hog the brain cell. There's only one to go around. Once we have a bigger budget, we'll buy another brain cell. Then we can have more people coexisting with that same bit of intellectuality at once. We don't have that today. Come to think of it, wow, I guess, I guess dark organs don't come as often as I thought they would. What a miracle that I managed to find the dark intestine pretty early on in the stream. I'm hoping to get at least that, I want to get the dark heart by the end of the stream. And hopefully chances on my side for that. I don't know though. We shall find out. <laughs> Is a brain still split up? Does it become more than one? Mm, I don't think so. I'm not a neuro surgeon or anything like that but i got a strange feeling that if you take one brain cell and split it in two and i'm not talking like mitosis or meiosis i'm talking like take it and snip it right in the middle i don't think it's gonna work however 
I'm sure there's an intellectual article out there in some critically acclaimed and peer-reviewed journal that would prove me wrong or not. And I'm curious, nonetheless. In any case, I'm going to slice up some meat. There hasn't been... The bodies are coming in eventually. They'll come in when I want to. In the meantime, let's... Uh, I could do with some more meat. I could do with some more meat. Let's cook up some more meat. Put some meat in there. Get a couple of yum 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 yums. Make some burgers. Burgers are good. Burgers are very good. I don't need more salt. Destroy. Don't need it. Don't need more ash. Don't need it. Don't need... Uh, I can put the wooden sticks and stuff outside. I don't need to destroy those. I have a storage apparatus right outside. I'll take that. There we go. Okay, waiting for more. What can I do in the meantime? In the meantime, while I'm not focusing on the darkness that lies within, what else can I do? Craft a spirit laser. Oh, you know what I can do? Oh, I know what I can do. I can make dinners. I need to, I need to bring the merchant five gold star dinners, and I can make dinners. I can totally do that. And I can also continue to um to harvest these plants over here and fill up the, the goods. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, um... Ooh, can I... I'm gonna put good fertilizer here so I get more pumpkin seeds. Oh, I can put two of them there? Oh! I didn't know I could put two fertilizers down. That's cool. Here, take those. All right. But now... Help Astrologer find a way to earn Miss Charm's forgiveness. To earn Miss Charm's favor, I need more gold. To get more gold, I need to talk to the merchant. So I need to... I need to get that up and running. So what constitutes a dinner? How can I make dinner? What can be included in a dinner? To make dinner, um, there are a variety of things that we can make in dinner. And they need to be gold star dinners, right? Gold star dinners? Gold star dinners. I'm going to make gold star dinners. In this case, all right, let's, let's take a look. I can make bread. That's a thing that I can do. Make different types of onion rings and stuff. Astra's back. LOL. Ha. <laughs> I'm laughing because you're laughing. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. Hello there. Hello, Pure. Hello, Pure Portal. How are you doing? Wonderful day we're having. I believe. I believe. Astro brought people. Are hamburgers dinner? I hope they are. I love burger. Actually, oh, 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 wait a minute. Good point. Good point. Can burgers be dinner? Can burgers be dinner? Burgers be dinner? Mm, not in that category. What about over here? Maybe a burger is part of dinner. Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 there we go, there we go, okay, burgers can be a part of dinner, oh, no, no, this is great, this is great, um, that's good, that's like a piece of dinner already, oh my god, okay, this is good, this is good, this is good, what did y'all have for dinner tonight, I'm curious now, I had, uh, Anna made some fried fish, fried tilapia, uh, vegetables, and some garlic bread, and it was pretty good, we bought the, the garlic bread was actually pre-made, like, it came as garlic bread, you just put it in the oven, it was okay, we make better garlic bread ourselves, I think. What else do we have here? What else can I do to make this, like, the best? Um, apparently... So, I have bread. Bread can work. Bread can work. Where's the bread at? I, I have bread. I have bread. That's fine. Bread's fine. What else can I bring to get that gold star up to 100? Astro... Astro plus dinner don't mix when you decide to drink. Oh, see, that's why you gotta eat dinner beforehand. See, what Anna's been doing, and she told me about her plan, is on Wednesday nights, when she's in charge of dinner, she'll try to make a big carb dinner so that I don't get drunk on stream. And granted, granted... I really only have one drink, and it's usually not that powerful, so... And I'm... I would consider myself a heavyweight. However, everybody knows that the people who call themselves heavyweights are not heavyweights. It's all about what I have in my stomach already and how fast I drink this thing. And I've been taking my time, so... Pure... Pure had some French toast. Dude, I had French toast for lunch yesterday! Oh my god, it's great. I... Anna's, Anna's Christian, so we practice... We practice Lent and whatnot this house. I... I I'm a little less... I'm a little less... Uh, I guess tied to that particular practice and whatnot. However, I did participate. We did participate in Fat Tuesday, where we had breakfast for dinner, and I had French toast for lunch, and it was absolutely wonderful. And I am so happy that Anna. It, it was all Anna. She made the whole thing. I can take absolutely no credit for that. She made the bacon. She made the uh, her uh, family members made the French toast over the weekend. It was great. Hear me out, brandy old fashioned sweet. No, I don't even... I, I I will just agree with you right off the bat. I don't need to even hear the rest of your story. You're right. I love old fashions. And to be fair, I haven't yet had a brandy old fashioned. I don't think I have the right brandy for it. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, I take that back. I have apple brandy. Laird's Applejack. Technically apple brandy. 
and I'm sure that would make for an amazing old fashioned. Although I haven't quite tried that combination yet, but I completely agree with you there. Okay, what do I need? All the homies are here. This is so wholesome. Yo, this is so cool. Hi, everybody. Hi there. Good to see y'all again. I mean, technically, I haven't seen anybody yet because I'm I'm not, I'm not as I'm not as vocal in Discord servers and whatnot. It's a it's a I get a little nervous. I have a little bit of social anxiety. I'll be perfectly upfront with that. Full disclosure. Full disclosure. But, but, y'all are wonderful people. And don't get me wrong, just because I lurk doesn't mean that I don't read. I read everything, and it's, it's great. Y'all are wonderful people. Y'all are absolutely wonderful people. And, wonderful people deserve good food. And apparently, I need at least Silver Star Onion Rings to make things possibly that. Possibly the bestest. I think I gotta learn how to make pie or cake. How to make great pie. I think I can do great pie. Oh, it's completely right. Indeed, much wholesomeness. It can still be good to see familiar names. Absolutely, Lorelai, always great. Astro and Plebstash know each other too and gave your tag out like candy these. Give, oh, thank you guys. That's so cool. And, and especially like being able to know the face even you don't have to talk much. I, I recognize the names. I recognize everybody's names, which is a good thing. It was a good thing. We got familiarity. How do I make onion rings? I need to know how to make great pie and onion rings. How do? How do make the pie and the onion rings? Do I not know how to make pie? Are you telling me that I don't know? No, 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 no. I do know how to make pie. I know how to make pie. But I bet I gotta bake that pie. Did I get to, gotta bake that pie? I feel like pies are bakeable. Bake that pie? Bake that pie? Bake that pie? Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. I can make cake with pastry dough and berries, and I literally just ate all the berries that I have. But, oh, grape, grape pie. All we need are gold grapes and pastry dough. Nice. Oh, I, excuse me. I know exactly how to make that. I just need to uh, uh, figure myself out on how to make pastry dough. To make pastry dough, you need milk and eggs. I'm gonna go buy milk and eggs. I don't know how to get those on my own. This game gives you Stardew Valley, but uh, Stardew Valley does, oh my God. I can't speak. This particular virtual experience gives Pleb Stash the vibes of Stardew Valley, but a little bit extra. Indeed. This is very Stardew Valley-esque. Actually, somebody, this, I, I started playing this game off of a recommendation from somebody else from another community that I'm in, and they were like, yo, you should totally play this. It's like Stardew Valley. I love Stardew Valley. It's a great game. I played it, like, religiously back in high school, but Stardew Valley, but goth. I'm hearing out Bailey's Irish Cream Pancakes. To be honest, I have yet to put alcohol in something that I've cooked. Aside from a couple of splashes of sake and stir fry. I've done that before. And it's okay. It's sometimes hit or miss depending on what kind of sake you make. But actually, being that we have suggestions being thrown around, this is what I do. I take those suggestions and I put them on a piece of paper so that I do not forget. So, suggestions so far... There's the brandy old-fashioned. Love that. Sounds wonderful. I'd probably use my... I have a couple of different types of brandies here. I've got Kirschwasser, which is technically cherry brandy. I've got Applejack, which is considered apple brandy. And I got like a regular brandy type thing. Oh, yeah, look. Here comes my next dead body. That's awesome. I'll get back to you. And then Bailey's Irish Cream Pancakes, which sounds awesome. I'm sure most of the alcohol just kind of comes off anyway. But like, Bailey's Irish Cream is great. I, <laughs> I for one, when I... um. When I first, when I was, uh, the last time that I bought Irish cre cream, I was trying to be a little cheap with it. So I actually bought some ripoff brand <laughs> named, um, oh my God, what was it called? It wasn't Bailey's. It was like Brady's. It was Brady's Irish cream. It was so cheap and it tasted good. Hey, it was Irish cream nonetheless. And it was good. And it made a great stand in for Bailey's. It worked. Ah, I hate you, Captain. You still don't say anything. Do you sell milk over here? You sell milk? No, but you do sell onion rings, but I can make better ones. Just kidding. I can buy better ones. I'm gonna buy all your onion rings. I'm gonna buy your gold star onion rings. I don't need that many of them. I only need five. And then, and in exchange, I'll sell you all these pieces of paper that prove that I burned a dead guy. Or at the very least, buried him. <laughs> That's what the, the proof is in the pudding, and the pudding is all over the paper. So here you go. It's a little damp, but I hope you still accept it. And I need milk and eggs. So I'm gonna go grab some of that. Milk and eggs, milk and eggs, milk and eggs. I know I can get eggs from... 
the chickens. The chickens over here. I know I can buy eggs from over here. Let's buy. How many eggs can I buy? Oh, ten per oh, five. Excuse me. I can't read numbers today. But where do where does get milk? Oh, <gasps> another body. I should have known, and I did. I did know. I knew about this already. There was no surprise here. I cannot catch me off guard. Cannot catch me off guard. I knew exactly what was happening. Was fully prepared for the situation. Hi there, ma'am. Do you sell cows? 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 Oh, milk! I like milk. I'm gonna buy all your milk. Just kidding. What did I just do? I bought a bucket of milk. No, 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 no. I need a whole freaking jug. So, um... Thank you. Thank you for the... Thank you for sharing. I'm gonna head back home. Make some... Make some food. Sweet home! I'm at sweet home. That's where I am. I'm gonna make some pastry dough. Gonna make some pastry. Oh, wow. This is actually making a lot of pastry dough. Didn't realize they would make that much of it. Cool. Watch me making my dough. Oh, that's so much dough. Give me all the dough. It's almost nighttime. I'm gonna go to sleep for now. I'll, I'll rest up. I don't need to drink all this mead now. Save it till later. I have the onion rings. I will have the great pies. Oh, oh, actually, I need to go to the, the vineyards. <laughs> I need to actually get the grapes. Actually, I might have grapes downstairs. I probably have grapes downstairs. I think I have grapes downstairs. Let's go see how many grapes I have downstairs. Gold star grapes. Gold star grapes. Oh, 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 there's so many of them. Oh, but I also have bodies. Oh, there's so much stuff to do. I have bodies to desecrate. I've got sermons to preach but it's not daytime yet i can't make my sermon just yet however it's lord's day did you pray today it's okay if you didn't we're only human god expects that he expects your imperfection remember that it's okay it's totally it's fine just just here's your here's your penance your penance here's your penance do something good today <gasps> a dark brain oh my god <laughs> My penance, the way that I'm going to repent, is I'm going to remove the darkness from the people that come into my abode. If you enter in dark, you will leave pure another dark brain. That's the knowledge of darkness up in your brain. Oh, I don't have space for the dark brain. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, 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 I don't need this. There we go. Now I'm going to research the dark brain. Wow! Time flies when you're researching the dark arts. Actually, I guess technically I'm not researching the dark arts. I'm just pulling that out of somebody's body. However, at my study table, I can research the dark arts all I want to. <laughs> that was quick. Oh my goodness. Look at the blue points just flow in. Ah, Feel the blue flow through you. I feel the power. Astro is legit gonna fall asleep to your voice. It's so nice, honestly. Thank you. Good night. Lol, yo, if this help, if this helps you sleep, then we know we're doing something right. You're welcome, good sir, and have a wonderful night. Ding! Actually, you know, speaking of, like, going to sleep and whatnot, I, uh, I've been imagining recently, I'm not planning on having children anytime soon, however, I have thought about the idea- I, I have thought about the idea of, like, figuring out, like, lullabies and whatnot that I could sing to my children one day as they're growing up and whatnot. And here's a good one that I th uh, Anna and I thought of, and that is, there's an anime out there called The Promised Neverland. It's also a manga, but in the anime, they have a song that is sung, and it's Isabella's Lullaby, and it's just- it's a really beautiful song. It's a really beautiful song. I think it's really beautiful. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that apart. Oh, I don't remember if the Inquisitor... The Inquisitor wants three dark organs, but I didn't know if whether it's the... All different dark organs? Oh. That's okay. I, now I have death solution. Now I have the solution. First scene is so good. Oh, it's so good! But I... Uh, but there's a... There's an artist out there named Amalie. A-M-A-L-E-E. -E, um, who does covers of these anime songs and stuff. And she put lyrics to them. And it's a beautiful song. I don't quite know the lyrics off the top of my head. However, the melody... Goes something like this. La 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 Low point kind of cut out there. But it's a wonderful song. And it's kind of haunting. Especially when it goes like La 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 
la la la la la la la la la la la it's haunting it's like i don't know exactly what's going on with it i'm not not super music super duper music inclined so i don't know what kind of key it is but it seems a little minor and it's awesome amelie also did a cover of glassy sky and it is amazing you're absolutely wonderful oh my god and amelie's cover of love is war oh ah, you're totally right the cute one too also hell of a boss is a cute lullaby i don't think i caught that one actually but it's a little intense to be literally used as one i <laughs> wish they didn't speed run season two i completely I, I don't think i'm caught up on hell of a boss but yo yo pleb stash the cover of love is war dude anna and i love that anime so much dude it's great now i gotta wonder oh, op2 that's which one was op2 was op2 uh daddy do or i personally i think the the one that i like i don't remember which one is um it's the one that goes like oh love me mister oh mister da -na 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 oh my god that one is such a bob and yes season two of promise oh promise two season two of promise Lever neverland yeah i completely agree that was totally rushed it shouldn't have been rushed what a wonderful show i felt betrayed however yeah actually now that i have all this stuff over here let me put these pies in the let me put these pies in the oven let me put these pies in the oven there we go there we go I'll make a pie. Make a pie. Then I'm gonna have. Then I'm gonna go have a uh, church. We're gonna make the world repent. Repent for what they've done. Repent for what they've done to me. I have life extract. I don't need that in my all that in my inventory. I don't need that in there. I have more carrots that I can get in my garden. I'm kind of. I'm so. I'm throwing some things out because. Just trying. What does this do? Uh, all these seeds are welcome to your graveyard don't know what that means that's for more repentance that's fine that's fine but yeah yeah <laughs> completely agree on pretty much everything just completely agree with ev everything on there amelie amazing musician wonderful covers all of them great love is war great anime promise lover to land rushed in the end i agree with all of that i agree with all of that it's very sad to see you see what i mean pleb stash and pleb stash and pleb stash and pleb stash you would fit so well where am i fitting that I don't know what we were talking about. R.I.P. R.I.P. Aaron. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> pleb stash and pleb stash and pleb stash and pleb stash and pleb stash. Oh. And pleb stash. Actually, <laughs> that reminds me. I don't have a link to the video, but there's there's a law firm. There's a law firm here in America called Morgan and Morgan. I saw one of my pals from high school one time shared a YouTube video of a Morgan and Morgan commercial, but except basically the entire commercial was just saying Morgan and Morgan a bunch of times over. And... Basically, it goes a little something like this. Morgan and 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 Morgan a denizen of youtube i mentioned like a meme video and he knows exactly what it is you can pull it right up and i'm like that's amazing and sometimes that happens here too as well i was i was <laughs> i brought up here's another funny youtube video that i love it's the adventures of jimmy neutron where honestly i can't quite describe this but it's jimmy neutron and his father actually it's jimmy neutron and his father and it, it's just it's interesting the pizza i'll sum it up in a couple of phrases the pizza is aggressive. Jimmy, your mother is dead. And it's time for father-son bonding time. Bond with me, Jimmy. And that, that's where I'll leave it at. That one I could probably link. I know I know where that one is. I'll try to I'll try to link that later. Let me remind myself. Jimmy Nutron. Jim Jimmy Nut Ron. I'm not lying. I write this stuff down. It's all in my post-it note. Oh, and my post-it note is wet for some reason? Ew. 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 Yeah. Nasty. Um, what was I doing? I'm gonna put this milk in here. I don't need that milk in there. I'll take the grape pie, please. I need more garape pies. Additional pies, please. Um, I'm gonna put the pastry dough in here as well. Post in Discord, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that would be the plan. I'll put it in the memes chat. That's what, I'll, that's what I'll do. I'll remember. I'll take care of all this stuff afterwards. Gosh. Because it takes time for me to... Usually what I wind up doing is after the streams are done, I work on a thumbnail, I edit the things, I set them to render overnight, and then I go to sleep. And it takes some time to download the video and set things up and do the editing properly. 
So I get a little bit of time. Why is there one berry in here? Why is there a berry? I don't... I don't want the berry in here. Put the pumpkin over here. Take the berry back. I'm gonna eat this berry. I'm gonna munch that. Mmm, tasty berry. Mmm. Yummy. Make those pies. Make those pies. Um, and so I need to create the quality dinners that I so require. Somewhere. Dinner, dinner, dinner. There we go. I need gold star onion rings. I have the gold sam- the gold hamburgers. And the gold grape pies. So I need five of each. So I just need the things. What if you posted those things as notes tab as a notes tab too to remind yourself too? I posted those things as as a notes tab too to remind myself. Hmm. To remind myself. Yeah, yeah. Well, honestly, honestly, one of the things that one of the reasons that I wind up posting them on the Discord anyway is because I can use it as a reference. Like for example, here's a very practical example. All all the vods and whatnot, every recipe that gets made is post is cross posted on various different platforms. One of them is Instagram. One of them is YouTube. Just to make sure that like, if anyone were interested in find their own thing, find the thing, they will be able to find it. And so I can like copy it, put it over there. Like make it their own thing. Oh, like like a channel for notes. Oh, like notes for our reference. Yeah, that's an idea. I like actually that's a pretty good idea. If that's what you're implying, that is. In which case, I agree. That's a great idea. I mean, I mean, to be to be fair, post-it notes make a pretty good notes. However, oftentimes I have to throw the post-it notes away and whatnot. And to be fair, to have a channel that's dedicated to that could actually be very useful because that stuff doesn't get thrown in the garbage. <laughs> but my post-it notes do. Oh my goodness. Do I have any bodies? I, I should check and see if I got any body. Oh, uh, it's downward facing day like a... Like, make it a you comment only so you don't lose those notes. Oh, that's a good idea. That is a good idea, but like a public facing channel. Is that, is that, that, that's, is that, am I getting the right idea there? I think I'm getting the right idea. The pieces are, the pieces are slowly but surely coming together. So like a public channel that you can see, but the notes are things that I can put on there. Or, or do we mean like a, like a, like stream markers and like, I don't know. I thought about that. I know I can do stream markers and whatnot, but I don't want up doing those. They're, they're a little, they're cumbersome. And they click the button and you can put the description in there. Public can, so it just, we can't, we can't add to it. That's an idea. I like that idea. I feel like, I feel like the implementation there, maybe that'd be good for like threads and stuff like, I don't know, I like it. I like that idea. I'll write it down anyway. You never know. I'll, I'll muddle it over my thoughts. I have to, um, Anna walks me back from work on Wednesdays. So I actually, my bicycle is at work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the walk in. So I'll wonder about the implementation details. Notes, notes, channel, discord, question mark an idea and then actually that's a cool idea too because then because then you know what we could do as well any notes that wind up getting posted on there we can like like cross reference and whatnot and be like this is what the and then like actually technically don't we have a suggestion oh but not all notes are suggestions that's fair i know there's a suggestion channel on there i remember that one. Oh my god let's make dinners oh i can finally make dinner i can finally eat it's about time I'm starving how much does it make to take dinners? Things I wish I did when I first made your Discord. Dude, it's always it's always improving. Ha Achievement unlocked. Dream dinner. Nice. The best dinner anybody could ask for. Dude, it's always a work in yeah, it's always a work in progress. I don't think anything that we would do will ever not be a work in progress. And honestly, if we ever came to a point where we we kind of wipe our hands clean, we're like, yep, we're done with this. This is as good as it possibly gets. Then I would call that complacency. Because I don't think it could I don't think it could ever stop getting better. There's always room for improvement, I think. Honestly, that was one of the things that I, uh, I was talking with, um, one of my coworkers at work about this. And so one of the things that when I, I, I'm a firmware developer, what I do is I program a little device and sometimes we get bugs. Our backend also has bugs. We get bugs all the time. And sometimes there's a mentality of, oh, do we want to necessarily let our customers know that we have bugs and whatnot? Like, do we want to let them know, hey, something's a little off right now. Um, we need to make a couple of changes just so you're aware of it. And some, some would say... No, 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 we don't want them seeing, like, our flaws or our faults and stuff like that. But some would say, and I, I would say I'm more on the side of, for the sake of full transparency, if there's a bug, you should let people know about it. Dream Day, Dream Dinner, Dream Daddy, VeggieTales Edition, oh my goodness. A fellow software developer, technically speaking, I do embedded firmware development. So, is it software? Am I coding? Yes, I'm coding and I'm programming. However, where, where I would consider software stuff, slash firmware, oh, yeah, totally. Oh, in that case... Yes. 
I specialize in Internet of Things devices and whatnot. <laughs> Don't, he's legit. I love firmware stuff. Oh my god, it's so cool. I love that. It was always something I my my previous job that I was at. I worked. I used to work for Comcast, a very shitty internet company. If you're not familiar, anyway, I used to work for them, and I was like, "Can I do firmware stuff?" And they're like, "Yeah, sure." Then they furloughed me. So now I have a job at a startup company. I can do all the firmware I damn well please, and it is the best. Soft yet firm. That's true. It's technically like, it depends on what you mean by software. Am I programming in assembly code? Am I typing out ones and zeros? No, I am not. I am typing out the language of C, a very low-level programming language, but not super low-level. What is firmware? I'll tell you what firmware is. Whereas software, I would consider to be programmed onto, let's say, a computer, like a general-purpose computer, like the one that I'm playing a game on right now, the one that you may be using to watch the stream. Firmware is where you program the actual chip itself. So, so for example, um, I'm trying to think like, for example, I have a Fitbit on. You wouldn't be, unless this is running like an operating system, like Linux or something, you wouldn't be writing software for it, so to speak, at least in, in my opinion. You would be writing firmware for this. So I program how these things do. Please, Senpai, teach me your ways. Cameron is making digital mattresses. <laughs> digital mattresses? You know what? Let's just say yes. Wait, firmware, software, soft yet firm. Oh, oh, oh like mattresses, like mattress firm. Mattress firmware. Love it. He's actually your age. I am 24 years young. I don't know why I free streamed there. It just felt right. <laughs> it just felt right. Yo, I love this stuff like that. I, I was even saying before, I would love to do this kind of stuff. Like programming an Arduino or working like a hardware project on stream sometimes. But I'll admit, I'm not confident yet enough in my abilities to be able to put that on as a show. It would be a very, like, honestly, it's exactly what everybody else does. I use Stack Overflow, and I use a lot of references, and I rebuild that shit like crazy. Honestly, of the things that I work on, and I don't know if it's because of the fact that I'm new to this stuff, or I don't have as much experience, but to be perfectly honest, it take, I have to rebuild my firmware at least a dozen times before I get something that works, because I will always run into errors, sometimes I get Stack Overflows, it happens. Luckily, at least in my case, I work very closely with another firmware developer of ours that do that has been doing this shit for years, and I am... We're in completely different... We're in like 12-hour different time zones, so I only go to chat with him in the morning and at night, but he's an awesome dude. He's great. Him and all his brothers, too. I love you guys at that, and I know you guys pop on, and I love you guys very much, and I learned so much from y'all, and I appreciate it very much every single day. It's great. Honestly, I was the kind of person for a while that was not very good at asking asking senpai so to speak to teach me your ways um to ask somebody who's more experienced than i because i was a little insecure about asking questions and whatnot but i've been getting a lot better at that sometimes you gotta learn the hard way sometimes you gotta learn the hard way and by that i mean like you gotta realize oh my god i could have saved myself literally 30 hours if i just asked a simple question and it's once you hit those rocks and hard places do you realize yeah yeah okay maybe i Maybe I should suck up my pride a little bit, ask a question here or there, Google it. Maybe not just Google it, because sometimes it takes a long while to Google things. And especially for like the type of stuff that I work on, there's not, there's documentation out on it, but there's not a lot of documentation out on it. So the best thing that you could possibly do is to ask somebody who already did it, knows a little bit more, and might have just a perspective that, even with somebody that isn't doing what you're doing. I was, um... I was, I've been working on a particular project for about a month now, and part of it, which I didn't realize until about a month ago, uh, until about a, um, about a week ago, was cracking a bit of encryption. I had never dealt with stuff like that before. I have never been much of a cryptographer. I was really bad at puzzles like that. However, I had a couple of questions. I had a couple of questions, and I asked a couple of folks about it, and nobody really had a succinct answer. But then I talked to one of our backend developers, and he was like, oh, that acronym that you just spewed out of me, that four-letter acronym? Yeah, I know exactly what that is. Oh, I wish you would have asked me sooner. I could have helped you out with that. And I was like, but I figured it out anyway. Oh, gosh. Be it pride or fear, reaching out is very helpful to do, despite them. It's true. It's absolutely true. Honestly, if I could give... Not to, not to say that I'm at a point in time where I even have the right to be giving advice on stuff like this. I'm not that far into it. I'm not super experienced. I'm just a regular, a regular dude like everybody else. But if I could get any, any sort of advice, suck up your pride, 
ask questions. A person who thinks that they are weak for asking questions, I think, is just wrong. And don't get me wrong, you're entitled to your opinion, but I would say that this is factual. In this case, I would argue that it is factual. If you think you're weak for asking questions, it's quite the opposite. You are much stronger a person to be able to swallow that pride, if it's even a question of pride, and to be able to say, hey, I know I don't know this. I need a little bit of help. Because lo and behold, I think it makes you, honestly, I think it makes you look stronger. And by, by you know, by, by transitive property, I think it makes me look stronger. And I'm super strong for looking totally dumb. Consumption. Actually, I'm going to pop one of the blackberries off this drink. Mm. Love that. Those blackberries are so good. I took a single bite of those, but I didn't realize those blackberries were not going to be sour. I love non-sour things. Yo, am I running out of bodies? I'm running out of bodies. Yo, it's time to do some circle legs. Uh, I think I remember how to do them. Anna, teach me. I'm zooming out so we can get a view of me standing up. Here we go. I'm going to try this and play the game at the same time. I think I'm doing circle legs properly. Circle legs. Circle legs. I'm moving my legs in a circle. Anna, am I doing it right? I'm doing it right, right? 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 You know what? That's close enough. Oh, she says it's close enough. We got the we got the goal. We got the G. It's good. It's good. I'm doing my circles. Feel free to work alongside as well. If you feel like you've been sitting down for a long period of time, I literally sit for a living and type on the computers. I like to stand every once in a while. Sometimes it's a privilege to stand. If I had my way, honestly, if I had my way, I would actually have a camera that can move up and down with me because I like to stand every once in a while. If I can, you know, I can play games like this for a little while. I'm just on my feet. That's good for bone density. Anna says it's good for bone density. You ever play Cameo and the Elements of Power? I have never heard of that. What is that game? That sounds very interesting. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, well, it's it's Claw Day. Oh my god, it's Claw Day. Okay, um, um, okay, I need to and sit back down. Alright, we're getting into this. Okay, it's Claw Day, which means I need to go talk to the merchant, which means I also need to get some carrots so I can get some more stuff in. Um, ooh, 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 it's down the wire. Alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna write that down in just a second. I, I'm running out of, I'm out of carrots. I need more bodies. I'm gonna go get more carrots so I can get more bodies and then talk to the merchant so I can give him his dinner, finally, and then get his freaking fork. That man needs a fork for some reason. Oh, why do I have all this stuff on me? No, fertilizer belongs to the chest. Ooh, put it in there. Quality fertilizer. Only the most quality fertilizer. Exactly 10 carrots? Exactly what I needed. Cameo and the Elements of Power is a simple game. I can see you liking. Dude, I actually, I unironically, like, could, I guess coincidentally too, I love simple games. Anna and I are big board game fanatics. We love to play board games. And some of my favorite games that we have in our collection are the simple ones. Things that you could play with, like, your games and stuff. With your games. <laughs> Things that you play with, like, your kids and stuff like that. I love games like that. Simple games are a joy. Ho, ho, yo. It's Cosmo Mo. What's up, bro? What's in your cup tonight? I know you've got some nice Vermont teas up there. I actually, I actually still have, I still have some of the, um, the maple tea. The maple tea that you gave to me. And it's awesome. It's like, it's like, it's like dense maple syrup. Like, almost a, almost a fermenty flavor. It's awesome. I still have a couple of bags left of it. It was great. And, and, plus indeed, I, I tried out that beer that you shared with me. The, um, the, the Jocko. I think it's pronounced Jocko or Jocko. It was good. A nice IPA. I think it was a, uh, an Imperial IPA, I think. Don't exactly remember. But it was lovely, and it was great. Simple games that, games that can cause rage, such as Mario Party. Dude, love Mario Party. Oh, gifting subs. Whoa, what a guy. Thank you, Plebstash. You're super cool. I'm going to grab one of my shiny party hats. I actually don't have a... Oh, it's uh, my shiny party hat's in the corner. I'm going to grab one of those in just a moment. Oh, Cosmo said, I got some Golangol and ginger root tea tonight. That maple syrup tea is totally wicked. What is Golangol? I'm not familiar with that. I have to go grab my shiny party hat because that's what we do for subs. Shiny party hats. And you know what? I'll grab a party horn too. Where's my shiny party hat? Where's my party horn? Where's my party horn at? Love that. Here we go. I'm gonna take my box with me. I'll take my box with me. I keep forgetting everything. I go between the bar and whatnot so often. I go between the bar and whatnot so often. I often forget all the boxes that I have to take with me. It. I'm not. It's not a very mobile setup. But all in all, <laughs> you're. <laughs> I almost said you're welcome. Not you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. This is for you. This is for you, Pleb and Burnhale. One, four, six. Gallengal. 
I got a green one. I hope green is a color of yours that you enjoy, because if that's the case, then perfect. Gall and Gall is like in the same family as ginger and turmeric, but ever so slightly different. Oh! I actually forgot well, uh, for a while that like turmeric and ginger are kind of in the same family. The roots look almost exactly the same. Okay. Time to make my way over to Sweet Home. Get it, give it a thing. You have an xbox one don't you with game pass you have an xbox one don't you with game pass i actually don't have an xbox one i have an old xbox 360 that's all i got that's all i got honestly oh i teleported to the wrong place no oh my goodness gracious yeah and it's without actually it doesn't have wires i think i have the wires for it though to be perfectly honest i don't know if i put them together oh well it's on there too oh nice oh it's the cameo game nice oh i forgot to write that down hold on uh, time crunch. First, uh, go to the dead horse, make my way down, talk to the dude before he leaves. Commerce works the world, makes the world go round. I have those dinners that you wanted, sir. It wasn't easy, but I made them. I'm gonna write this down while we, while I do that. Cameo. Oh, looks great. You're a real chef. Cameo. Tomorrow the court will flood with the rumors about tonight's dinner. I like dinner. Come see me next week, and I'll tell you how it went. I have to wait a week? That's fine. Patience is a virtue, you know. Uh, can I sell my pies? Oh! I can sell pies for almost a whole silver? Oh. Buddy. If you like these pies, let me show you the rest of my collection. I don't have much of my collection, to be perfectly honest. I don't have a lot of pies, more so than this one. Cameo is on there. Cameo! Cameo! Cameo, cameo. I need to write the rest of that note. Kame... I did not write that legibly. Ka... Ka... Mayo... Game... You know, it's actually funny. We went to, um... Let's see. We went to... We went to a wedding venue the other day. And we accidentally throw... Stole three Sharpies from them. Oh, you can't really see that. But it's got a little... Got that little name on it. We got a lot of free goodies from this place. Apparently, when you go into an establishment and say, hey, I want to get married here. Everyone's just like, hey, here's your stuff. Here's free stuff. You should have your wedding here. It's great. Did you just pull out an LSP, LSP voice impression? Heckin' mid, boss. I've been, I've been working on this one. I think this is technically stream number 18 of, <laughs> of Graveyard Keeper, and the merchant's been on the line for a while. Love that. Cam. Said like Cam-E-O. Cameo? Cameo. Cameo. Oh, Cameo. Oh, cameo, cameo. I, I get you. I why was I saying cameo? Where did that even come from? It's like looking at my name and being like, Cameron. Like, no, no, that's just an accent. It's it's Cameron. It, you're you're fine. You don't need that. You don't need all that. All, all this. You don't need that. Although, I suppose if you really feel like saying, Cameron, Cameron with an X, I suppose that's fine. I'm not gonna stop you. It's not technically incorrect. Maybe it's the most comfortable. Yo, you know what? Whatever is most. Whenever when someone, anybody asks me, like, how should I refer to you? Do you want Cameron, Cam, CJ, the Camster? I'm just like, yeah, listen, whatever is easiest for you, pal. My parents have been calling me Cameron for a really long time. I've been calling myself that. That's that's what's easiest for me. Another dark brain. Ugh. Oh, so much work. So much work for the dark arts. Jeez. I just need a dark heart. All I've wanted is a dark heart out of this whole thing. That's all I really want. My middle name is a J name? Yeah, can you guess? Can you guess what my middle name is? It's very it's, it's very simple. It's not very difficult. You could probably guess it in one try. I guarantee it. It's not complicated. My, my younger brother's names are more... Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> you guessed it. My middle name is James. That's totally correct. Named after my grandfather. My grandpa, Jimmy. He's a really awesome, he's a really awesome guy. He's kind of, he's losing his memory a little bit, but hey, you know, what an excellent life so far. What an excellent role model too. I love that man. I love that man so much. Grandpa Jimmy, love you, man. Love you, man out there. And I know you came here. I don't, I don't know if you know, I don't know if you're able to use technology to the point where you can be able to see this going on here, but wherever you are, it's probably in the comfort of your own home. Love you, man. Eek. James is a good name, though. It's your cousin's name, too. Nice, nice, nice. I actually, I know at least three people who have the same middle name as me. It's a common name. Um, one of them, uh, actually, one of my, two of my, I think two of my roommates in college had the same middle name as me. And it's possible that another one of my friend from friends from high school also has 
uh, that middle name too. It, it's common. It's common, but it's a good one. My uh, my younger brother's names are a little more. We're, we're an Italian family, so Jimmy or James, I guess, was considered Italian once upon a time. My younger brothers have very Italian middle names. Honestly, if I had to be honest, full disclosure, I think they're all cooler names than mine is. However, I got a person in my life that my name is after. Therefore, it it it, it, it trumps over those that wouldn't. And they're all named after folks too. Their, their, their middle names are named after folks as well. So it's not like my particular middle name is special. I think they've got the great parents. They've got the names, the middle names of the great grandparents. I've, I've got one of the non-great grandparents. They're all great people. They're all great people. However, not great as in like from a, a standpoint of the, 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 the family tree, the family tree. All right, burial certificate. Got another one. It is it is Green Day, Martian Day, and I still don't have a dark heart. I'm still waiting on a dark heart, but I have these dark brains now, and I have all these pastries and stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see. I don't know if the Inquisitor said he wanted three different dark organs, or just three dark organs in general. In which case, I'm gonna actually go ask him. I'm gonna go up to the Inquisitor and say, "Hey, you want this dark stuff?" And he'll be like. Yeah, I want your dark stuff. But I need a little more variation than just those two. And I'll be like, respectful. I get that. I, I understand. I'll, I'll, I'll come back another time. We'll see. It's after a great grandparent rather than one word. Great. Oh, there's a comma in between. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the English language. It confuses me and everyone else. I need more space in here. I don't... Why do I have bread in here? Why do I have berry juice? I don't need berry juice. Why do I have mushrooms in here? I don't need that. Let me put... Uh, um, put the meat back. Put the meat back. Take this downstairs. Put this over here. Put the... Uh, put the mug of... Uh, keep the mug of beer with me. Put the berry juice down here. Put the grapes down here. I don't need the protection potion. Put that down here. I really, really need a health potion. I'll keep that down here in case I need it. Um, Look at that. A relatively clear inventory and I'm gonna move a couple other things around as well and I think that'll be just fine that'll be great is a dark brain dark gray matter I think the gray matter is on the inside and based off of my knowledge of anatomy if the white matter is on the outside then that would imply that the dark part of the brain is the white matter unless it gets darker as you go within I'm not entirely sure. I think this is a question for not only the biologist, the neurologist, and the medical professionals, but also the theologians and the necromancers. I honestly think we'll get the most information from the medical professionals and the necromancers. I am a necromancer, actually. I did bring a zombie back from the dead. I did bring a person back from the dead to be able to do my bidding. Hmm. We're not all without sin in this world. It happens. Sometimes you do things that are characteristic of an evil villain. It happens. We're human. We have imperfections. I can't be a good person all the time. It's not how the world works. There would be no yang if there was no yin, you know? I think that the medical... The Lorelai thinks that the medical and the necromancer... The medical professionals and the necromancer sharing a room is bound for dark comedy. Oh, I love that. I feel like there would be male practice jokes. I love that. Technically, technically, if I didn't have skills already put into this, I could make a surgical mistake and mess up the body. But I'm a professional now. I am so much better at doing what I do in this game than I was before. And that's because I research. I study the book. The book of the Lord. And the book of the kitchen. And the book of the carpenter. And the book of the smithy. And the book of the ground. And the book of books. And the book of the Lord. And the book of anatomy and alchemy. It lays it up pretty succinctly there. Necromancers are just doctors with poor timing. <laughs> I love that is a really good one. <laughs> You're absolutely right. And let me explain why this is funny. First of all, necromancers function on dead people. Medical professionals usually don't function on dead people unless they've made a mistake. Quite frankly, I guess a necromancer would be making a mistake if they were doing their experiments on live people. Or non-undead people. 
and that's why it's funny. And as we all know, it's now even funnier because somebody had to spell it out for you. You're welcome. Where are all the dead people? Oh my goodness, it's foggy outside and raining. Wow, and it's hot? There's like a wobbling effect going on on the screen. That usually means it's hot outside. Is it steaming rain outside? Ugh, oh, it's like a sauna in here. It's so hot in the graveyard. Give me the sweet, hot graveyard treatment. But, but actually, give me more dead body. Uh, what else can I do? Okay, um, I got the dinners. I gave the dinners to the merchant. I will talk to him another day. Discuss strategy with merchant. That's next week. Oh, oh, oh. I need to sell more crates. I haven't sold enough crates. I need to farm. How full is my inventory? Not at all. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's see if I can get more seeds out of this. Maybe it's a super humid day, so the clouds poured. Florida weather. Yo, actually, golden pumpkin. Achievement unlocked. I did not realize. Wait a minute, how did I get a golden pumpkin? Magic. Oh! One of my fertilizers creates gold star seeds and... Oh! I bet that's what the... I bet the... Oh! 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 Oh, it makes sense now. It's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. That's, oh my God, I did not realize that was the case. Wow, okay. Well then, now I know how to get, there was a question that came up a few weeks ago of how to get gold star onions aside from roaming around the dungeon for the proper seeds. The answer may shock you. And all you need to do, all you gotta do, is take a minute, just take your time, the clock is ticking. Oh, that's not, the, that's not the words of the song. All you have to do is stay. That's all you have to do. Literally, the only thing that you have to do is stay. Stick around. Get comfortable. Have a drink. Drink some water. Drink water. Drink water. Water is good for you. I'm going to put some peat in there. Hopefully get... Oh, I don't have that luxury. Um, mm. Well, actually, if that's the case, if the quality fertilizer is increasing the... It's increasing the quality of the crops, I actually want... Spe I want specifically Silver Star crops. So, actually, I'm... Actually, that's not, a, that's not a problem. I'll keep planting this stuff and whatnot, but I only need the Silver Star ones. Yeah, that's all. that's all I need. So, I'll just keep going with this peat. And hopefully I don't run out of seeds, which I don't think I will. Onion seeds. There we go. There we go. Uh, those are carrot seeds. I want more onion seeds, to be fair. There we go. The answer is giving the right sort of shit out about the situation. This is true. To be perfectly clear, or to be perfectly fair, this game could be a little more straightforward with what it does, to be perfectly honest. Oh, I can grow. I forgot I could grow plants over here and I could have the zombies take care of it for me. Eh. Zombies another time. Take care of the zombies another time. Hey, oh, hey, you got a body for me? Hey, buddy, you want to talk? You want to talk? Not now? Hee-haw, hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Ha-ha, hee-haw. Ha-ha, hee-haw. Ha-ha, hee-haw. Can I have my body, please? Can I have my body? Please, 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 I want a dead body. Please, 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 I want a dead body. I want it to be dark and scary on the inside. Oh my god, I need more carrots. Wait, don't go away, don't go away. Don't go away, can I lie here forever? You say that I'm better, but I don't even feel better. I gotta get carrots. Sorry. That was a little much. I will definitely admit that. I went a little bit farther. I should have given, I should have given the mule his personal space. Donkey, donkey, excuse me, not a mule. Not a mule. It is a donkey. I should have more respect for... I'm sorry. Zombies are known for how great they are about making sure living things stay that way. Yes. Exactly. Zombies, their one job is to keep the living alive. Not eat their brains or anything like that. Or to keep themselves alive, technically speaking. Alive. Alive and well. Aw, oh, you're not a dark body. You're not cool. Get out of here. Join the fire like the rest of them. Uh, it's almost nighttime. 
Yeah, I just killed this. I'll take my body over to the sweet home. And I'll do it right over there. First time. Yo, just got this game today and you're trying to learn a little bit more about it. Cozy Emmy. As a person who's been playing this for, at least according to my Steam profile, almost 60 hours now, I would like to give you a quick tip right off the bat. The game does not guide you in directions where you should be going. If you're curious about where to craft this new recipe that you just unlocked, there's blueprints in a ton of different locations. Check every single one of them. And, and don't be afraid to look up a guide. That's okay. Or don't be afraid to ask questions. It took me... I'll give a couple of examples, speaking from personal experience thus far, which has been a little frustrating. And let me outline this. To burn bodies, you need to go to the crematorium. I didn't know that there was a crematorium. It wasn't very clear to me. In addition, you don't necessarily know how to get certain parts of the body. Just talk to people. That'll give you the hints that you need. That's all I'll say for now. I realize I almost went on a sp bit of a spoiling tangent. I don't want to spoil anything, so... Although, I'm kind of far into the game so far. I I'm not that far into the game. It's not like DLC or anything like that. Word of caution. There might be spoiler spoilers. It depends on what you mean by spoilers, but that's out of the way. Can't make sarcasm... Lorelai's right. You can't make sarcasm as easy when the slash is confusing in Twitch. Oh, that's true. That's true with the slash, the little backslash. Are you using the front slash or the backslash? Actually, I don't know which one's the backslash and the front slash. I don't know. Is this the... Is this the... Let's see. From my perspective... From your perspective, I think the forward slash is this one. And the backslash is this one? I don't quite remember. I honestly don't remember. Honestly don't remember. In any case, in any case, I know what I just... <laughs> I know what I just said was probably a little heartbreaking about the game, and that it's a little a little frustrating at times and a little unclear. Take that and just like put it in your pocket. It's a wonderful game. It's very, very enjoyable, and it keeps you occupied and entertained for hours upon end. I would rate this five stars. I love this game. It's very start if you're familiar with Stardew Valley, it's very Stardew Valley like. But a little more morbid, a little bit more, a little bit extra. It's cool. I like it. I would highly recommend it. You have an official thumbs up plus from me. And I don't exactly know how to... Here, here's my... Here's my thumbs up, and here's my plus. It's a marker and a party horn. That's what I got. That's what I got. Oh. Okay. It is upward facing day, which means I'm going to talk to the Inquisitor. And I hope, I hope, crossing my fingers, that he's in a good mood... I hope that when he says, I want three dark organs, then he'll say, I don't need them all to be the same, I just need three of some of them. In which case, I will be a very, very happy camper and a much more happier boy. Is absolute, is the forward slash, is the forward slash? Oh, that is the forward slash. It didn't show up in chat. <laughs> that was funny. Absolutely love Stardew. I'll, I'll admit, I didn't play. I, I played a lot of Stardew Valley like a few years ago, and I know it's had plenty of updates and whatnot. But I haven't given it much love recently. I don't know why. I should go back to it at some point. I think at some point I will definitely stream Stardew Valley. Just not while I'm playing this game. They're too similar. Harvest three dark organs. I did it. Give him a piece of dark evidence. Oh, you do need one of each. All right, that's fine. Here, well, here's a dark intestine. You're welcome. Here's a dark brain. You're welcome. Mmm, I still need more. I will get it. I will obtain your eternal coal. Cold-hearted man. Cool, cool, cold. You're cold-hearted? I think there's no point. I think there's no point if we can't burn any witches. Ah! Silly me! Nobody's gonna eat hamburgers if you can't burn witches. Duh. Don't you know this already? I did. I knew that already. I didn't... I did this because I knew exactly what they were going to do. Yeah, I, I knew that. Oh, can I what? This gate wasn't always open. Can I? Can I walk down this way? No, 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 wait. This gate, the gate was always open. I got confused. I was thinking of another gate. I don't know. I got so confused for a moment. Another body. Time to go back to the graveyard. Lorelai only has it on mobile, which still hasn't gotten that update. <laughs> It was before the switch was a thing. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. I didn't realize that honestly, I didn't realize that I couldn't put slashes in chat. Wait a minute. I, I'm gonna try I wanna try that now. I, I wanna try that now. Wait a minute. Wait, can I not put slashes in there? Wait, I'm gonna put both slashes. 
slash slash and oh look at that oh so the forward slash is the one that i can't type what about this one interesting i've learned something new today Cozy Emmy is also a fellow streamer, and you just finished Spyro. Oh, may I ask which Spyro game? I was really, really into the Spyro games for the GameCube, but I really didn't play any of the other ones. Like, Skylanders just didn't do it for me. The new stuff that came out for, like, I don't remember what systems it was. But I didn't play any of those ones. I just never got around to it, but I loved... Was it Spyro Enter... I think Spyro Enter the Dragonfly was the one that I... I, I, I think that was the one that I loved playing on the GameCube. I love that one so much. You play that so much with my younger brothers back in, back in the day. And I say back in the day as if it was a long time ago. I guess it was... 10-ish eh, years? About a dozen years? Yeah, it's a, I guess it's a long time ago. Not quite ancient, but a while ago. And I guess the GameCube really wasn't that ancient to begin with. Dark Heart? Dark Heart? Baby got a Dark Heart? Oh. That's okay. You've got... You've got flesh. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. Reignited is a remake of the first three, but I, but Lorelai even enjoyed the Game Boy games, so your bias is known. Honestly, I did not know that there were Spyro, Spyro Game Boy games. This is news to me. That's really cool. I didn't know that, but now I know. Knowing is half the battle. The Reignited Trilogy, the first, and Ripto's Rage. Ripto, what, if I'm correct in saying, was Ripto the weird, like, little orange dragon dude who was, like, the main enemy of, I think it was Enter the Dragon Fry? I think it was the final boss? Maybe? I don't know if I ever made it to the final boss in that game. I just kind of know, like, this is what I remember of the game. There was a dream world. I know you could go there. There was a farm world where you could, like, I remember there being cows uh, abducted in UFOs or whatever. I remember... A circle in the middle of like the main world area where I think it, that's where you fought the final boss if you go into that circle but it wasn't always available and you had to collect dragonflies you had to collect different dragonflies and stuff and I loved I think the thing that really got me in that particular game was the fact that you could collect as you collect going out of the game some dragonflies were different colors and I for one I have no shame in saying when it comes to colors I love I loved it. Like, you can literally just slap a different color on something, and I am instantly into it. I'm like, wow, there's another color combo here? I love that. This is exciting to me. And I love stuff like that. Just just slap a different color on it, and I am a sucker to get another one. I'm like, gotta collect all the colors, if I can. I gotta... I gotta clear out my inventory a little bit. Gotta clear out my inventory. So let's move a couple of things over here. I'm still waiting on that dark card. I really... I'm telling myself I want to go until I get that dark heart. It was kind of late, and I'm kind of leaving that up to the luck of the draw. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably continue playing until... Until I find the next dark organ. And if the next dark organ isn't a dark heart, then I'll probably... I guess I'll, I'll probably just wait for next time. We're getting a little late over here. Is there any more that I can research to, like, get better dark heart? Oh, cultists. Yo. Cultists. Oh, I want that. I want to be a cultist too. Praise the dark arts. That's cool. That's cool, right? And yes, what I was describing was indeed Ripto. And fun fact, Ripto came from the game maker seeing that Spyro's name in Katakana on the Japanese version as they thought that's what it looked like it's be spelled. <laughs> that's really funny. I love little like tidbits like that. I would have never known this. The more you know. The more, but the more you know about the things that you love, I can get behind that. Crap waste. I'm gonna put this in a chest. Oh, good night, dearest. Bedtime for dearest. Put all these seeds away. Onion seed. Put the peat away. Don't need the peat with me. Put the crop waste away. I have so much crop waste. Oh my goodness. Anna, thank I guess says good night. Good night, dear. Oh, that's what I gotta do soon. Oh, oh, she responded. All right, there we go. That's my dearest. That's Disney Queen. That's my dearest. She's over there. Everybody say good night. Good night, Anna. Why do I have a dowel in here? There's no need for to be a dowel in here. I don't need dowels. Get these dowels out of here. I'm gonna need dowels. Get those dowels out of my sight. I don't need them. I don't need those wooden dowels. All right. Do I have... I need to think. Do I have enough material 
for... What was I thinking? Oh, I lost my train of thought. It happens sometimes. Do I have enough carrots? That's what I'm worried. Do I have enough carrots to be able to reap in the benefits of more dead bodies? I don't know. I have a gold star pumpkin. What do I do that with? What do I do with that? With this newfound pumpkin that I have, I guess I can eat it. I wonder I wonder if you get more materials for higher star crops or higher star ingredients. Like more materials like for alchemy and whatnot. I, I don't know. I think I'm just going to eat the pumpkin. I don't know if I can do anything with it. Unless, actually, can I, can I ship this? Can I ship that? It'd be cool if I could ship that. Can I ship that? I can. Oh, sweet. I can ship gold star pumpkins. I, okay, I will, I will make space for gold star pumpkins. If that's something that we have now, then cool. I will more than happily capitalize upon it. Although I do have all this other stuff. Oh, I have a bunch of... Yo, I have a bunch of gold onions. Yo. Oh, and I have a bunch of red... Oh, my goodness. Why was all that on here? Oh, I can totally sell all that. This is excellent. And I got some silver star pumpkins, too. And how many... I don't think I have enough onions. I don't think I have enough gold, uh, silver star pumpkins. However. However. I do think I have enough uh, gold star onions to ship off. Right? Right, right, right? Oh. For sure. All right. We'll do that. I don't remember how many boxes left I need to ship to get to seven. I'm sure there's analytics for that somewhere. What else can I pack up? Is there anything else that I could pack up? I could pack up goods. I don't have enough goods for that. What else do I have? I could use more golden golden things. Sell all your veggies. Oh, for all Stardew vibes, it's very easy to forget you could sell your veggies. Oh, for sure. I completely forget all the time. I'm too busy eating maggots. Quite literally, I'm consuming maggots on the daily to keep myself full. It's not bad for you. It's just questionable. Oh, I don't have any more silver. Oh my god, I don't have any more silver star. Okay, uh, I guess I'll plant some gold star. That's fine. Gold star, good. Um, and do I have pumpkin seeds? I don't have enough pumpkin seeds, but I do have space for more, more onion seeds. There we go. Do some more of that. Yum. Yum. Living that Timon and Pumbaa life. Yeah, you want to eat the bugs? You want to eat the bugs? We encourage eating the bugs. If it's if it's safe and healthy. I have actually eaten crickets before. They were crunchy. And cheesy. And not that bad, to be honest. Now, do I have enough carrots for more bodies? I do, I do. So I'm waiting on some more bodies over here. Oh, I have another body. Oh, did I not realize I have another body? Oh, the body is... Oh, the the, the, the body is down at the crematorium. Uh, I need to chop down some more wood. Really, we're just going through bodies one after the other after the other. We're trying to find that gold. Have you ever had one of those scorpion candy pops? No. However, I have just learned of their existence, and now I do want to try them. Find me a supplier, and we will acquire them. I think, I think that hmm, a scorpion pop seems like an excellent extreme consumption. Because why would you want to eat a scorpion? Amazon? Huh. Should have thought about that one. The website or jungle or jungle. Uh, you could oh, you could definitely find. Actually, do you find scorpions in the Amazon? To be honest, to be honest, I'm a little bit of a skeptic, but I feel like scorpions aren't found in the Amazon. However, they might be. Maybe they do. Actually, you know what? They're probably definitely found in the Amazon. However, I don't want to make any assumptions. Maybe. But you can definitely find them on Amazon.com. Apparently. That, that I believe. Let's make some more billets. Billet, Billy, don't you lose my wood thing. Bro wasn't a fan of flavored crickets. Oh, I watched that video. And yeah, I think it's a little, that's too wet for the scorpions. Like scorpions are dry, dry climate creatures, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know. Yo, weirder things have happened in this world. All right, you there. You with the fresh dead body. Got anything good? Oh. Oh. You don't have any dark party parts at all. That makes me sad. That's okay. There's still more bodies to be found, but it'll take a little while. The search, the search continues for more dark body parts. 
T T Tidious Scorpius? Tidious Scorpius. Or something. The Scorpion had a what now? <laughs> is that Gurren Lagann? Oh my god. Gurren Lagann is another anime. Quality anime. It's got... Those robots have body parts. And they move them around. And it's a little disturbing, but hey. That's Gynax for you. That's the company. I need more... Well, I can't serve beer right now, so I guess I'll just drink this to gain my energy back. Titius Obscuris is the scorpion. Titius Obscuris, as in the ones who have... I, I wonder what the Latin root for tit, titi, titi. The Latin root for titius, like, I wonder what where that came from in the Latin. I gotta wonder. It does have a scorpion lady with the strangest mech of all. Indeed, that one makes me question. The legend, the legend, Mr. Paul Tracy, ladies and gentlemen. The man, the myth, the legend. He is here. Hey, boss. Boss. I'm gonna head out for now. I'm gonna take a power nap before getting back to the coding. Love the stream. Keep it up. Pleb, I appreciate you. I hope the coding goes well. And being that it's power nap time, have a good rest. Enjoy yourself and be well. Good night. Sleep tight. And if you had bed bugs where you are, if they are biting you, kill them. Shall we extract the blood? Extract the blood from the body? Ugh, bloodletting. What an exciting activity. Love the idea of just blood flowing out of another human being. Just laid bare for the world to experience. What a lovely experience. What an absolutely devious experience. I require more carrots. I need more carrots. I need more carrots so I can get more bodies. And however much time it takes for me to... I still have Lord's Day to accomplish, and I have a couple more days until the merchant comes back, so I'm gonna wait around until the merchant comes to town, and I will talk to him about our next business opportunity. And then we'll, we'll continue. I don't need salt, don't need ash, don't need that, put it away. Bloodletting helped people help kill George Washington. Oh my goodness. There was a time. There was a time where people were just like, oh yeah, bloodletting? That'll fix everything. We'll just void your humors and then you'll feel okay. I don't think it worked. Blood, blood, gallons of the stuff. I can't remember where this stuff. Blood, blood, gallons of the stuff. I don't know where that tune comes from either, honestly. It's pretty good at killing a lot of things. Oh yeah, you know, technically, if you remove all of the blood from my body... I will die within seconds. It's just how it works. It's just how that works. I require carrots. Have your carrots. Do it yourself, bloodletting? No, sir. No, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Only done by medical professionals. Naturalistic medicine. I mean, hey, if you're a licensed professional and you choose to bloodlet yourself for your own betterment and well being, more power you to you. I don't think I can do that. The The closest that I ever got to bloodletting was I was attempting to test a device at work, and for some reason, I, the control solution for a glucometer wasn't working, so I decided, ah, I can prick myself at work today. And so I pricked myself and measured my blood sugar. It wasn't too bad. It was pretty low. Which I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Actually, to be fair, I don't know whether it was low or not. I just saw a number on the screen. I don't remember what that number was. I'm not a medical professional. I don't know how to interpret those numbers, but there was a number and I think it was good. I'm not diabetic or anything like that, so I don't think I should be worried. I think I'm okay for now, at least. Still a bad excuse for murdering with a knife. True, 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 true. LOL, Jack the Ripper was trying to balance Biles. That's what he was trying to do. He was just trying to make people better. He was just trying to make sure that people could be the best version of themselves. Oh, I didn't set these on fire, did I? Fire. Fire. Shoot fire. All right. Well, as everybody knows, it's that time of the week again, and it's Lord's Day. Can I take your mirror? I need a better graveyard about the cathedral. Got to go back. Still need money. Still need money. Ah, <sighs> so much more money. Oh, I had money from last time. Look at that. I was just talking about getting money. Doctor Ripper theory is back in back in town. Jill the Ripper optional. Optional indeed. Honestly, Dr. Ripper sounds like an excellent doctor. I'm sure he's wonderful with kids. Little does everybody know, I'm sure that Dr. Ripper out there might actually be a pediatrician. In which case, you can trust us. You can trust Dr. Ripper. Maybe. 
And if you don't, that's okay. You have an option of other care physicians. Including, but not limited to, Dr. Ripper, Dr. Frankenstein, Dr. Vra Dracula, and Dr. I'll Kill Your Family. I I'll Kill Your Family is a, 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 it's a French last name. Not, they're not from around here. It's not a usual last name. He gets it all the time. Oh, I collected faith. Somehow. I feel the Jill the Ripper theory more plausible. I don't know. I don't know many Rippers in my life. But hey, Jack the Ripper could very well be Jack and Jill at the same time, you know? It's 2022, baby. You can do whatever you want to do. All right, this is what I'm going to do. This is my. This is how I'm gonna go th go about doing things. I am going to run out of carrots for the day, and when I run out of carrots, when I run out of carrots, I will. I just noticed my vibrating phone is right next to the microphone. I apologize if we've been hearing vibration the entire time, but I will go until I run out of carrots, and it'll be two more body, two or three more bodies, and when I run out of them to attempt to extract dark hearts from, then I'll call it an even. This is a little bit of a long one usually for a Wednesday night, but I've been having a great time so far. And that's not necessarily because of me. Everyone has been wonderful. I want to thank it. Take a little moment. Thank you, everybody. This has been fun so far. I'm enjoying myself. And that's good. <laughs> Honestly, if you're if you're streaming and you don't, if you're not enjoying yourself, change things up a little bit. Change things up. You never know what could spark your interest back again. The little spark in the flame of boredom. You never know. You really never know. It would not want a surname like Ripper, Jill, or Jack, because the temptation of a punny first name would just be too much. <laughs> Sean would have hope, but the second you say it's seen, it's seem, seen, 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 with an N, you've gone too far. Hmm, Sean, Sean Ripper? Seam Ripper? Oh, <laughs> Seam Ripper. That's a sewing joke. I like that one. It is Lord's Day. I did my prayer already. Prayers are good. Press it good. Uh, I'm gonna bring that wooden stick. I got the blood. Keep the blood down here. I got billets that can go upstairs. I don't have any bodies right now, but I may. What else can I work on in the meantime? It's a it's a productive kind of day. Excuse me. Put the billets. Put the. Excuse me. The sticks. Excuse me. Put the. I wonder if I got any more crops. Actually, let me see if I got more crops. I might be able to uh, do another shipment by the end. Maybe. Those were Silver Star Pumpkins. That's good. Uh, more onions. Oh, perfect. This is excellent. This is excellent. I got more onions. Uh, and they're gold. Yeah, they're gold. I think this is perfect. Yes. Oh, excelente. Excelente. Perfect. And I'll replant those. This is wonderful. Put the gold stars back. Don't have any for those. I have the pumpkin seeds to go back there. Perfect. So now, I think I can actually... Oh, no, no, no! Oh, I was so close! I was so close to another one. That's unfortunate. That's okay. We'll come back again next week. Alright, put the crop waste over here. I gotta get rid of some of that crop waste. Uh, put the seeds back, and I'll keep those on me. I have plenty of plenty more things. Um, downward facing days next... What else can I work on? I know I need to make more money. I need money. I need dark organs... And I need to and I need to sell things. Which then helps with the money and stuff like that. So what else can I do? What else do I have here? Working on the spirit laser, I'm kind of already doing that. The astrologer needs Miss Charm, which means I need money to become an aristocrat. I already know about that place. Gotta sell seven crates. Don't know how many I've sold so far. Um, aristocrat papers. Reach two hundred at the graveyard. I could work at the graveyard. I could do that. Actually, what I could probably do is next time I'll focus I think what I'll do is next time I'll focus on the graveyard itself. Because I know that there are multiple improvements that I can do there. I was really just trying to get the dark organs today, and I got them. I got them. Ripping open bodies. This is a good thing. But so that's what I was trying to work on there. And then we'll continue with that next week. I think I'm just gonna... I guess... I can meditate to allow uh, bodies to come faster. So I'll, I'll do that. I'll meditate a little bit. I'll meditate on that thought. I will wait until the bodies come. When the bodies come, we will... <laughs> Rip them on open. So how's everyone's day so far? It's the evening for me, but it could very well be the morning for you. It's apparently raining in the game. That's unfortunate. Finish my drink. That was good. That was a very, very quality, very quality cocktail this time around. 
I enjoy rain, says so thank I guess. I'm not a big fan of rain. And the only reason I say that, the only reason I'm not a big fan of rain, because I am a I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a technophilic, so I love all of my technology, and I fear for the sa the safety of my technology as it rains. Thank I guess likes rain. It's wet. But is water wet? Hmm. Feels debatable. I, for one, think that in order to be able to be wet, you have to be able to take on water. And water can take on more water. And has already taken on water. So I would say that water is wet. That's what I would say. That's my, that's my answer to the question. <laughs> Ooh, a body arrived. Love that. I'll make my way down and see what you got. Actually, technically, couldn't I just... If I really, really want to spam the odds, I could just keep meditating. Maybe. Maybe. Let's put it in here. What do you got? Dark heart? Aww. That's okay. We'll take your flesh and whatnot out just like the rest of them. That's okay. You don't have to be dark today. That's fine. It's all good. It's a it's a waiting game. To be fair, to be fair, I am betting on the roll of the dice, and that's not really a sustainable way to go about doing things. Thinks here could be better. Stream helps though. Oh, 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 wonderful. That's good. That's good at least. Dad's still up, so I'm not necessarily comfortable doing the night chores yet. That's that's fair. That's fair. What kind of night chores do you have to do? I know in particular some of the chores that I really enjoy doing are the dishes and folding the laundry. I think they're rather therapeutic. I think another chore that I should probably get used to is like vacuuming the floor or mo uh, mopping it up. And I'm just, I'm not quite there yet. I'm not, I'm not quite yet there at the point where I'm like, I love to vacuum the floor. I love to do the dishes because I can do other things while doing the dishes. I love to fold clothes because I can do other things while folding clothes. I really can't do much while vacuuming the floor. Although I guess I can, I, I guess I can. Nothing stopping me, I guess. Hmm, gotta think of it. Okay, time to go back up and meditate some more. There's still another body that's yet to come. So we'll work on that. So let's bring it up here. Bring it up here, go to the meditation. Just think about things for a little while. Just meditate a little bit. Feeling the power of the world around me. Feeling the good vibes of the world all coalesce into a single point in time. That single point in time is now. Because we're living in the now. Not the... Not so now, I guess. In any case, time to talk to my bro in town. Time to talk about our business options. Alright. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. How's it going? You like your dinner? Let's talk. So how was dinner? Wait, what? Oh, I have to sell the crates first. The sales have been made. Oh, I did it. Thank God. Great. Now we have a decent share of the market. This is the perfect vittle for our plan. But we still need to secure the support of the Royal Council. I think I know a way we can gain the Royal Council's full support. When you're ready, my friend, I'll share the plan with you. So how was dinner? The dinner was magnificent. We've gained some support in the Royal Council. I think I know a way to gain the Royal Council's full support. When you're ready, my friend, I'll be glad to share my plan with you. So, about the plan. So, does anything else stand in between you and the job? I think we've done everything that you wanted. Almost. The head of the Royal Council isn't a member of the Gourmet's Club, but he has a weakness. And what's that weakness? Miss Charms. Charms, if you know what I mean. Oh. What do you mean? Please explain that to me. Sometimes she gives him um, uh, private concerts. I still don't get it. Well, he's rather fond of her little melody, so to speak, as you know. So, Miss Charm is the only person who can talk to him into supporting me, the merchant. And you're the kind of guy I could possibly get along with her. And there it is, a simply yet elegant plan. Are you kidding me? Get Miss Charm supports. Any specific instructions? Not really. I've always chosen a good dinner of the company of a woman. <laughs> Just tell me when you've gotten her on your side. Oh, no. <sighs> Miss Charm needs to be me to be an aristocrat. Which means I need gold coins. Oh, my goodness. 
Cat Litter is a big chore over at the Lorelei household and was going to set up a new toilet paper holder to replace one that started to get a little jiggly, if that makes sense. No, I get you. When the toilet paper holder woggles around, that's just not comfortable for anybody involved. And does this game have a story mode? There are quests that you can do to perpetuate the story indeed. Oh, hey, buddy. Can I hop on a ride? No? Okay, that's fine. I can't talk to, talk to Miss Charm today. Miss Charm is talked to on Downward Facing Day. And in theory, you're trying to get back to my beautiful wife. Oh, yes. My wife, I'm sure, is very beautiful somewhere in the land of the living, if I am in the land of the dead. But being that this land has a land of the dead itself, being that they have dead people, I'm inclined to believe that this is not the land of the dead. Perhaps it's some weird, wonky purgatory. Isn't that right, my donkey friend? He agrees with me. When he says nothing, that means that he agrees. Oh, okay, just kidding. You apparently have opinions on the matter. Take your time, take your time. Actually, I'm gonna run and go meditate, and as you walk along, then everything will be fine. Oh, I got some good stories, though. That's good. So I, so now, the crux of this is uh, we're focusing on Miss Charm. Miss Charm is requiring of me to get aristocrat papers to prove that I'm an aristocrat, and I think that costs about 10 gold pieces. I don't have 10 gold pieces. I have two and a half. So there's a little bit of a ways to go along there. Not yet there. I, let me double check to make sure that is indeed the price. Aristocrat. Aristocrat. 12. It's even more. Wow. That feels like it'll take a lot of grinding. I'm not exactly sure yet. If you're in purgatory, does that mean to does did that a means to justify being double dead, getting to the death state you're supposed to be in? Oh, maybe. It's possible. There very well could be double dead action. However, I don't know. I suppose the only way to find out is to die. And I have died before. But I just kind of get sent back here. So like I'm in a perpetual state of like being reborn and purgatorio and stuff like that. Oh, I need to put this back. Hold on. Put that back. Buddy, want to give me another one? It'd be really cool if you give me another one. Hey, buddy, buddy, come back. Okay, that's fine. <gasps> Whatever. He doesn't want to talk to me. That's fine. Give you some more. Come on back when you want to. All right, what about you? What about you? You are... You're my last person for the night. Do you have the dark heart? Crossing my fingers. You do not. And that's okay. And that's totally fine. So... That's where I'm going to call things for the evening. Eventually, eventually, we'll get a dark heart. But I was wrong to think that I should focus uh, on getting them. Granted, granted, getting all the bodies in, that's great. But I, I feel like I missed a lot of opportunities to take these bodies and put them into the graveyard. What, since I've kind of got an idea and kind of got a handle on, like, how the properties of the bodies would influence the graveyards, the graveyard itself and its quality and stuff. But I didn't look too deeply into that today. That wasn't necessarily my focus. And with that being the case, we'll save it till next time, where hopefully we'll get a dark heart or two. But we did rip open a lot of bodies today. And honestly, I'd call that progress. I would call that progress. Absolutely. Indeed. So thanks, everybody. This has been fun and exciting. This has been, I gotta say, sometimes, sometimes I would say that streams hit differently. And I'm gonna be perfectly honest. This particular stream, this one hit differently for me. And I appreciate that. And it's not its not because of me. It's not because of me. It is because of the lovely people who I have the honor of surrounding myself with. So thank you all. Thank you to everybody who came around. And for that, I appreciate it. Thank you for the stream. You're very welcome for the stream. I hope your days are good ones. I hope everybody else's days are good ones as well. No matter where you are in the world, I don't know what your time zone is. You could be having a morning right now. And if you are, have a wonderful morning. If you're having an evening right now like I am, have a wonderful evening. Dare I say, even a good night. And if not, have a great twilight, dawn, or whatever time of the day it may be for you. Have a good one. And to everybody, party on. Till next time. Bye, y'all.